Welcome back, you beauties. Yes, it is Friday, officially. Welcome, Woo! welcome, welcome. Yes, but I also have one. Um, good, good to morning. see your good gorgeous morning. face. Good to see yeah, your gorgeous, man. while we, we imagine your faces are all gorgeous. Um, you don't even have to get out of bed yet. Just chill, we got you covered. We've got an amazing show the headed your way. week back at work, you can yeah. allow yourself just to take it a little bit easy on this Friday. But yes, keyword day Friday. Friday, mm -hmm. yes, Friday. Friday. Yeah, yeah. And listen, first things first, uh -huh. what do you think of my blazer today? I love it. The let's, denim, let's, denim is denim amazing. Denim on denim with the blazer, the flared leg, you know, a pop of color. Color, because today is all about back to work fashion. Ooh. We have Karen Oppel here. If you need to stock up on basics, if you don't know how to create that work capsule that will give you minimal items but multiple outfits, this is brilliant. we're going to sort you out today. It's like a Rubik's Cube yes. of fashion. <laughs> I absolutely love that. You no, have to repeat an outfit. Um, yeah, and you want to invest in something like that now and uh, get yourself set for the rest of the year. Um, forget about the rest of the year, though. Uh, let's just talk about this weekend. Massive oh, one. Dude, I've been seen. following this for a while now. We Full yes. um, Okay, so <laughs> um, we are going to have, he will be the most per famous person in the world as of Sunday morning. I have a feeling he is, of course, fighting Sean Strickland for the Ooh. world title um, in the UFC. It's going to be massive, and we're going to set the scene. I think there, there is an opportunity for a South African to do something that no other South African has done before, but he is going to have to earn it against one of the toughest men in the world, oh, I think, man. right now. So it's going to be amazing. Can't mm. wait for that. And piggybacking on that, I'm also <laughs> going to have a bit of a work card to see uh, what, what he actually goes through. Just just a taste of it, because, I mean, this training is intense. Sure. And then, of course, also some comedy. Alan Committee is normally Brilliant. joining us this morning. We have rock legend Keenan Ixtian here with us as well, who's going to be rocking us into this uh, Friday. So you want to make sure not to miss a single second. Go grab your cup of coffee. But like Graham said, stay in bed for a little while. Yeah, oh, just chill. You've earned it. And we're going to let you and do the work for us today. So you can run off and go do some work, sunshine. Um, we, of course, um, are going to be connecting with you for the next three hours as much as possible. We want you to ask the questions um, and offer us your insights as well. And this is what we'd like to hear from you today. What does your current skincare regime look mm. like? I mean, if I look at wasty skin on the photo, it is smooth. Immaculate. What do you find is your biggest skincare concern? Perhaps you have one. Share your voice notes, share your own advice. We'd love to hear from you. Our number is 063-408-8863. I personally mm -hmm. like to have... Um Keep my skincare routine simplistic. Mm. I find that if you overcomplicate it, products start to clash with other products. Sure. If you keep it simple, you go back to basics, you can't go wrong. Yeah, I look, I'm not going to plug this particular product on here, but I pretty much use like one or two products, and that's it. The bottom line is use a product. Find something that works for you and your skin. Look after yourself. It becomes a little bit more critical as you play in the space where I'm entering right now. Uh, what's my biggest concern? Probably just getting older. No, it's fine. We're Sunblock. immature enough. Yeah, exactly. That's actually the best one ever. And especially in the heat like this. Well, we'll find out in just a moment if those uh, temperatures are going to soar. And, of course, get you set for the day ahead with officially the news and sporting headlines. Ewan's got the latest. Thank you so much, guys. Three minutes past six o'clock. Yes, we'll get into the weather in just a bit. It seems like it's going to be a very, very hot day going into this weekend. But for now, let's take a look at those news headlines. Starting off with your national news, big one. The matric class of 2023 achieved an 82.9% pass rate in the National Senior Certificate Exam. The independent school recorded a 98.4% pass rate. The Minister of Basic Education, Angie Mochekha, announced the results, noting a nearly three percentage point increase from the previous year. The Free State ranked highest for the fourth consecutive year with over 89%. Following were KwaZulu-Natal with 86.4% and Gauteng with 85.4%. The Northern Cape had the lowest at 75% and Melissa Miller from uh, Rhenish High School in Stellenbosch secured the top spot among 717,377 matric learners. And staying on that story, a total of 740,566 learners out of some 1.2 million that enrolled for grade one in 2012 went through the basic education system until matric in 2023. Now, these numbers were revealed by Basic Education Minister Angie Mochekha during the matric results announcement ceremony at the MTN headquarters in Johannesburg yesterday evening. However, of those who reached matric for reasons not stated by the minister, a total of 24,847 did not enroll for the National Senior Certificate Exams despite reaching matric. 
And then we jump to international news headlines. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has urged the House of Lords to swiftly pass the Rwanda bill after it received approval from MPs. Now, the legislation proposes sending some asylum seekers arriving in the UK to Rwanda for claims processing during a five-year trial. Successful applicants may be granted refugee status, while others can apply to settle in Rwanda or seek asylum in another safe third country. Sunak aims for deportation flights to begin in March. The bill aims to deter channel crossings, but critics label it an expensive and impractical gimmick. And movie action man Arnold Schwarzenegger faced a three-hour detention in Munich Airport in Germany for allegedly not declaring a luxury watch intended for charity auction. The Hollywood actor held for possible tax evasion encountered delays settling the, the required tax as the watch was slated for sale within the EU. Now, EU regulations mandate the declaration of items exceeding 10,000 British pounds upon arrival. Schwarzenegger eventually paid the tax. Now, the watch, one of only 20 in the world, was planned for auction at a fundraiser for the Schwarzenegger Climate Initiative. And we'll end off on this story. A critically endangered Western Lowland gorilla was born in a London zoo on Wednesday in a swift 17-minute labor. Now, these gorillas facing a high risk of extinction inhabit remote rainforests in Western Central Africa, with a decline exceeding 60% in the last 25 years due to deforestation, poaching and disease. Their status is critical. Now, the new ward's mother, Mjuku, cradled her offspring shortly after the birth, then allowed the troops' youngsters to inspect the new arrival. Zookeeper is using CCTV cameras monitored Njuku's pregnancy and witnessed her tenderly holding her newborn. Very, very cute and adorable story. I must say that is absolutely adorable. That's our news headlines for the 6 o'clock bulletin. We'll have another round for you at 7 o'clock right now. Let's dive into your sports for the first time with Graham. Oh, thank you so much, my brother. Let's start with, well, not the best news on the rugby front. Springbok fly half Elton Yankees has been slapped with a four-year ban following a positive test for the prohibited substance clenbuterol. The South African Institute of Drug-Free Sport confirmed the findings and stated that Yankees was guilty of using the substance after a random test on the 20th of June in 2023. Yankees, a part of the 2019 World Cup winning team, faced previous controversies, including withdrawal from the team so we'll certainly watch that space. Now we move to cricket and Will Jacks produced a fairy tale display, smashing a remarkable century in just 42 balls, and making vital contributions with the ball, as well as the Pretoria Capitals secured a 17-run victory against the Durban Super Giants in their SA20 encounter last night. So Jack's explosive innings of 101, really incredible, featuring eight fours and nine sixes, propelling the Capitals to 204 for nine after opting to bat first. Clearly the right choice, despite a late surge from the Super Giants. Jack's all-round performance played a crucial role, understandably, in securing the Capitals' win. And, of course, some major footballing action happening at the moment. And Nigeria, they secured a narrow 1-0 victory against the Ivory Coast in their Group A match during their Africa Cup of Nations opener. So William Truster Kong confidently converting a penalty in the 55th minute, making all the difference, beating keeper Yahia Fofana and giving Nigeria that crucial lead. And with the win, the Super Eagles now climb to second spot in their group, tied with leaders Equatorial Guinea. And they'll face Guinea-Bissau on the 22nd of January in a bid to secure that spot in the round of 16. Ivory Coast slipping to third. They'll seek a victory against Equatorial Guinea on the same day if they want to have a hope of progressing. Now, we've seen some shocks in the year's first Grand Slam, and they keep on coming in a stunning upset at the Australian Open. Unseeded Russian Anna Blinkova eliminated world number three, Yelena Rybakina. So, Blinkova, ranked 57th at the moment, claimed the first set, 6-4, and Rybakina fought back to level the match with the same scoreline. And the highlight of the encounter was a record-breaking tie-break, with Blinkova clinching it 22-20 in over 31 minutes. That is mammoth. And the marathon tie -break surpassed the previous record of 38 points, marking the longest tie-break in singles match history at a Grand Slam. Oh, I think this year is going to be one for the books. And, of course, in just a moment, Faiz Jacobs is going to be joining us. He's a bantamweight, but he knows what it's like to knock it around inside the arena. And, of course, Strickers Duplessis is going to be taking on Sean Strickland for the world title in the UFC this weekend. He's going to give us a blow-by-blow, blow, excuse the pun, um, of exactly what we can expect. But right now, let's see what the weather is is going to throw at us this weekend.
Thank you, Graham. Well, let's start off with some news. The SA Weather Service has issued a warning for extreme high fire danger conditions in central and western parts of the Western Cape and the western interior of the Northern Cape. Also, the West Coast District in the Western Cape and sections of Namakwa District in the Northern Cape anticipate extremely hot conditions with temperatures exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. Western Cape authorities have cautioned about heightened wildfire risks during this period and the Cape Winelands District has faced recent challenges, including fires at Franschhoek and against Paulberg. Mayor Elna van Schlicht predicts a rise in fires due to the expected very high temperatures during the next few days. Well, let's take a look at your sunrise view. And for our 6 a.m. update, Liesel Kuhn is kicking us off, sending this one from Peter Maritzburg going on a morning cycle. Oh, I hope you had a wonderful time. And perhaps we'll see you doing the Cape Town cycle tour. We'll have to wait and see. We'll share your picture with us. Our number is 063-408-8863. Here's a first look at your temperatures for your Friday. in What's most that? parts of the South Africa today. She slips in with the one, two, bam, bam. Just Normally like Uppington it. takes it, but Worcester, you mm -hmm. put your hand up today. Uh, speaking of which, yes, there is going to be some banging about this weekend. Um, uh, Drakus Duplessis is going for his shot. It's a big one. Up against Sean Strickland, we are going to chat to Faiz Jacobs to get a little bit of an inside track from the troublemaker this morning. The Hallway. troublemaker, for sure. And then we're also going to sort you out for next week's Back to Work, because this week has almost like been a bit of a, let's just Ooh. test the water a little bit, but Pump in terms of your wardrobe, <laughs> we're going to sort you out. Taryn Opples here with some back-to-work styles that you do not want to miss. Stick around with you now.
Welcome to it. Get ready for a colossal clash at UFC 297 as South Africa's Drikas Duplessis challenges Sean Strickland for the middleweight title. Duplessis on eight fights under the belt now. The W is strong. He's going to aim for history against the current champion. But it looks like another contender has stepped into the ring, ladies and gentlemen, ready to put his hand up and cause a little trouble. He is the troublemaker. Ladies and gentlemen, a former EFC bantamweight champion, for he's the troublemaker, Jacob! I would actually carry that on for the whole weekend, man, just to handle my nerves. Uh, buddy, how are you doing? You're looking lean and mean. Clearly, the year has started well for you. It's, it's, been a, it's been great so far, and I feel like a lean, mean fighting machine. Yeah. That was the introduction, by the way. I'm, I'm available, My eh? juices are flowing. Oh, here. I hope so. Mine have been pumping for, like, the last two weeks. Every time I remember that this fight is on, I'm like, oh, my word. I've had an opportunity to get to know Drickus a little bit over the last couple of years. An insanely gifted fighter. We get this. Yes. Um, and maybe you'll understand what it's like to be in that top tier. As a fighter in his class, it's been a while since he's been really pushed. He's had a couple of moments, and I think he's learning so those championship round lessons as he gets pushed. Mm. This is probably going to be his biggest test to date because Sean Strickland is a hard, hard man. How are you feeling about, first of all, a, a South African fighter getting this opportunity? This is huge. It's big, this, eh? is, this is like one, the biggest thing to happen for South African mixed martial arts since ever. Ever, yeah. And, and Drik is coming up and being who he was, like you say, a very talented fighter. At 18 years old, 19 years old, he was beating some of the best on the African circuit. So he was destined for great things since the beginning. And now to see him live that out and that come to fruition, it's, it's truly spectacular. And I must say, he has done it in, in a, a spectacular fashion. I have 100% confidence in Drikas. Um, I, I really do, and especially against Sean Strickland. Um, I would be feeling a little more nervous against an Adesanya. Mm -hmm. um, he, there is just a slightly different style there in the way that he approaches it. I think Adesanya dropped the ball against Strickland and didn't prepare, didn't prepare mm -hmm. for the fighter, maybe backed himself a little too much. Focusing on Sean Strickland, I, I can remember way back in the day, a 17-year-old, I was actually a ring announcer for that fight, 17-year-old Sean Strickland beat one of our best fighters at the time, Donovan Hawkey. And I just remember looking at this complete fighter even then, thinking, mm. wow, these Americans have just got it. This is a massive step up for Drikas once again, to be in that situation, that environment. He's going to be the most famous person in the world for about 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he's ready for all of that? Will he be able to shut that out and just focus on the fight? Okay, so two things. You mentioned that uh, the USA has had the... They sort of had the hand in the cookie jar for, for many for years. Decades. For decades. So, so yes. the, the sport started with him, and they were the, the big pro promoters of the sport. So Sean Strickland grew up training around world champions. But here's, here's the thing. is Drikas Duplessis is an absolute animal. And he's going to close that gap, yeah. 100%. I, I, I fully believe that Drikas Duplessis has what it takes to, to close that. Um, when you see what he did against Whitaker, who is, is technically an amazingly mm. gifted fighter, yeah. has almost a complete bag of tricks, one of the nicest fighters I think you, you'll find on the circuit. But in that space, I don't think anybody expected a domination like that. Um, Will it be a similar sort of story? How do you see him approaching Strickland now? He's not going to just be able to dominate him with blows because Strickland's a punching bag. He'll take it. How do you see his approach going into this one? I like, I like the fact that his team game plans and I like the, the strategies they come up with. Strickland is very much a guy that likes to follow people, so he likes to head you off and cut off the cage. But Drikas is really a specimen when it comes to taking angles. And sometimes people criticise him for looking off balance, but to me, that's not off balance. That's, that's he's just finding that 45 degree. He's just finding degrees. that 45 yeah. degree angle. And the way he sets that up from both southpaw and orthodox, he can throw his power from both hands. And you've seen him knock people out with his left hand, that left hook that put down Marcus Perez and that right, that right hand that just is basically putting down everybody if, else. If it lands, it's, it's going to knock you out and, and that's the bottom line here. He's blessed with a genetic material mm. that I think few people understand just how unbelievably strong he is. But looking at the improvement in the fighter where, with every one of these big fights when he does get pushed. On the flip side of that, Sean Strickland has become this like 
I don't know, poster child of where America is right now. And as much as the two of them have tried to create hype, they, I think they're good lads. Yeah. That are just trying to play the fight game. And we've seen a couple of off kind of screen chats between the two that have been perfect, mm -hmm. that, that have been respectful. But I have a feeling there is just a button in both of these fighters that once that's pushed, it's going to get hectic. How is this one going to be won? Is it going to go to the ground? Is it going to be a slugfest? Is it going to end in the first round in your heart of hearts? How do you see this playing out? I see, I see Drikas taking this one. I see him being over, not overly, I see him being very aggressive, very confident very in, his, in yeah. his attacks and, and dominant also. And I see Strickland defending and being caught in that defensive shell. I also think Drikas is going to mix this one up because that, that's the professional thing to do here. I think once he takes him down, Drikas is an absolute he's animal. Strong. He's a specimen of a man. So once he, he gets Drikas to the ground, I mean Strickland to the ground and holds him there and starts putting down that ground and pound, the one that laid out one of the best wrestlers in the middleweight division, <laughs> Derek Branson, <laughs> I think, I think Drikas Duplessis puts him out on the floor. Oh, man, I have a feeling this belt is coming home and I am not alone. But make no mistake, if Drikas Duplessis is going to become the world champion, he is going to have to earn it against one of the toughest men on the circuit as well. Yeah. Oh, buddy, thank you so much. I, I didn't think I could get even more nervous or excited, <laughs> but I think I am. I'm going to show the man some love. Um, the bottom line is a South African is going to do something that no other South African has done before, and we are so proud of that. Oh, but buddy, Drikas, we love you, guy. Go out there and prove what you are worth. Prove what South African yes. fighters are capable of, not just for yourself and your camp, but for the rest of us. We love you, guy. Buddy, thank you so much. Looking forward to big things from it's you. It's a pleasure. Year, Good luck to Drikas, and, and we love you with the whole countries behind you. Every Woo. man, woman, and child should be watching this fight now. Oh, man, we love it, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh, it's going to be exciting. Get your popcorns and your headgears ready. <laughs> it's going to go down. Come on, Drickers, we are fully behind you. All right. Oh. Right now, though, we want to help you rewrite your destiny by playing a Powerball with a brand new jaw dropping 100 million rand guaranteed jackpot this Friday. And I mean, this one is really one of the biggest jackpots we've seen in a while. That is crazy, 100 million rand. Now, just imagine how your life would change if you won that much moolah. I certainly have quite a few ideas. Definitely yeah, another holiday sure. on the cards. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, the only way that you can win is if you play. So make sure you get your tickets for today's draw. You can buy your tickets in store on the nationallottery.co.za website, the mobile app, cell phone banking, or simply by dialing star 120 star 7529 hash for USSD. Now, we have also posted all of those details on social media, so don't worry if you didn't catch it all now. So you can go and check it out whenever you need to and start picking those lucky numbers. Because our big question is, will you be Mzanzi's next multi-millionaire? Well, Panda, push a play and find out. So good luck. Yeah, good luck indeed. All right, that was an exciting start to the show, that's for sure. We're going to take a very quick break. When we come back, we take a look at future careers and what iFundi is doing to support the students going into to the next phase of their lives. Oh, and if you're going into that next phase of your life and you just want to spruce up your wardrobe, Karen Opel is standing by with back to work and in fact workwear just to make sure you look your very best. So that's like Zoe. Its way. You know, it's, just, it's all about the suit. <laughs> See you now. Only you can make my day.
Welcome back. You are tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express the right here on S3 on your Friday morning. We can feel it. There's an energy in the air. But now, with the release of this morning's matriculation results, the journey towards our graduates' futures is now unfolding. It's an exciting period of their lives. And to celebrate this significant achievement, we are delighted to welcome a very special guest, Kapina Chale, the marketing manager at iFundi. Now, iFundi stands out as more than just a training institution. It serves as a guiding force actively shaping futuristic and technologically enabled careers. Kafina, thank you very much for joining us this morning. And first time I'm seeing you, so bless 2024. Are you well? Yes, I'm well. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, such a pleasure. Let's get into it. Um, it, it, is a, it is an exciting time, but it is also a time, I think, of unsurety of what the next steps are, taking a look at the world that we are currently live in. Now, with iFundi, how does iFundi address challenges that students face. Firstly, what are some of the challenges and how do you go about to, to really create that innovative way of approaching those career guidance goals that you guys can put forward? Okay, so iFundi is future ready and we do that in three different ways. So we make sure that we develop students that are future ready with the digitally enabled skills. We also um, help uplift and upskill the workforce of the employer so that we have people who actually have the current skills that are needed in the market. And the third way that we do that is we develop ourselves as an institution. We make sure that we are at the forefront of the changing fourth industrial revolution. We make sure we keep up with technological improvements and then we include that into our classrooms. And you also offer a, a, a lot of guidance as well. So students Absolutely. can come to you guys and they can have a conversation and say, listen, this is kind of what I'm thinking. And you guys can say, listen, but this is what we are seeing in the market, right? Because I think that guidance is very important for, for any student coming to an institution like iFundi. Yes, because even though there are a lot of graduates, employers are still saying that there is a skills shortage. So we make sure that our students have the correct skills that are in demand in the market right now. Look at the changes that AI has brought about. Yes. So yes, we make sure that we have students that can cater to different processes that are changing within the companies so that um, employers can be well satisfied and we can have a generation of South Africans that are leading. Yeah, exactly, leading, exactly. And that is what's needed in the workforce right now because I mean, we are living in that kind of digital age. We spoke about some of the challenges that students face nowadays. And I think one of the biggest challenges is finding or securing the funds. To, yeah. to finance their studies going further. But, but that's where you guys also step in with rather affordable payment plans. Of course. So we start off by making our fees affordable and our application fees as little as 150. And the registration fee is 1,200. Cool. I know it is unheard of. We also help with student loans. We're in partnership with Capitech Smart Founder, and this helps you pay your fees up to seven years. So you're given leeway even after yeah. you're done studying. And plus, we also help our students get work integrated learning so you can earn while you learn, and then you'll be able to pay off your fees. Yeah, you know what? That, that is exciting because, I mean, you can start your work as a student once you've gone through every and continue paying off but I mean it, it sounds like it, yeah. you really make it possible I think for students because it's, it's, it's a huge task for for a youngster stepping into the study world and the work world to start securing and paying back but I got to focus I want to get into some success stories in just a minute but you as a marketing manager mm -hmm. marketing plays such a vital tool in communicating um, I think important information so how do you use your skill, marketing, to communicate to your students. What is the edge? What is the difference? How do you make it to the, so that it lands? I think that's the point. We want to make sure that the information lands with the students. So that's a tough task on you as well. I know, it really is. But we leverage the communication of our marketing to make sure that our consumers understand that your success is our promise. We promise to make sure that you have work experience by the time that you're done studying at iFundi. Okay. We also make sure that you have digitally enabled skills that are in demand in the market right now. And plus, you earn while you learn. This is done with 
with work integrated learning. So that is our promise and we make sure as a marketing team that we get that across to our students. And we already have our phones ringing um, really loud. So <laughs> yes, yes, I think the message Look, is getting across. I love the fact that you said the experience, <laughs> the work experience, because whenever you apply for a job, there's mm -hmm. like uh, work experience or what, what. That is one of the most important things accompanying whatever degree you are. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. I know that you guys got so many success, success stories. I know people can also go read about them. But I mean, just in terms of students wanting to, to contact you, maybe watching the segment right now, how do they get in touch? Please contact us on WhatsApp and also on our website, www.ifundi.co.za and fill in the um, lead form, fill in your details, and then a consultant will call you in less than 24 hours. Love it. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time being here and I wish you and your team and the students going into 2024 all of the best. Appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. Class of 2023, yeah, come yeah. and apply at hey. Afundi. WhatsApp them, WhatsApp them. The number was there. I love the fact that you're working on WhatsApp as well. Absolutely. Much easier than emails. I know, right? <laughs> exactly. And prompt responses, and that's what we promise. Prompt responses, that's what they promised. iFundi, check them out. And wishing you all of the best. Go sign up, go check them out, go read incredible success stories, and you can deal with incredible people like this young lady over here. Well, while you get ready for your future career, embrace this new work year with confidence and style. And you can suit up this season with elegance, power and excellence and make sure you arrive looking the boss that you know you are. And here to help us get ready for our 9 to 5 and beyond with Woolies' latest drops is creative director and stylist Taryn Oppel. It's great to have you here. Good morning. Good morning. Back to work. Yes. I am loving my outfit, if I may say so myself. You really are. Feel like I need to stand amazing. up just to 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 give give Please it some do. justice Please because do. this makes me feel like yes I am back at work and ready to slay the day. These are bell bottom pants and I love that we have a denim blazer. It's not a denim jacket. Yes, and it's also stretchy. It is. Sure it's very comfortable, so comfortable. Very comfortable. Mm -hmm. You can you know get into all kinds of situations. And the wash is perfect. It's something that doesn't have bleach on it. Yeah, it looks new. It looks new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want. Now going back to the office what are the types of trends we could see people wearing so we're gonna start talking about investment pieces because I think that's what lays the foundation to then add those trend pieces you know on top of that mm -hmm. so let's talk suits yes we're talking about yours we're let's wearing talk the power about suit. others. <laughs> power suits okay so you really cannot go wrong with the black suit um, this is obviously elevated with the gold buttons on the and that's the one you're wearing right now. You exactly are the model what I'm of the right suit. Now, except I'm not wearing these pants, and this is what I love about suits. You can deconstruct them. So I chose to go for a little cropped, more of a plain pant, so I can wear it whenever, wherever. Yes, and that's the beauty. I feel like we need to break away from what we traditionally think a woman's suit is. It's not a right. man's suit that a woman is wearing. Exactly. It is tailored for her body to still accentuate all her beautiful curves. 100%. I mean, you could take this black blazer and wear it with your jeans right now, you know, yes. and it would still work over the weekend, not necessarily at the office. And then I also want to talk about the ivory or bone suit. Mm. Um, it's, it's really super sleek. Um, and I love that the cream or off-white or ivory really does work for the whole year, all the months, yes. not necessarily just summer. Um, but again, deconstructing, you could take your little cream denim and pair your blazer with that. Look at that. It works so well together, especially if your office has a casual Friday. Exactly. Where denims are allowed. Now I we're love talking. that. And then, of course, we're in the midst of summer. A linen blazer is always a good idea. I saw you wearing this the other day. It looked fab. A linen suit, exactly. yes. Exactly. Um, so this obviously is lightweight, breathable. The pinstripes are super classic and timeless. So Thank this you. is something that you would have in your wardrobe for a very long time. And I wore it without the blazer. You can. It's also a beautiful set to, like you say, deconstruct. Yes, exactly. Um, and then, I mean, we've seen your denim blazer, but I also just want to talk about this wash because... Woolworths has come out with a couple of pieces in the same wash to help you deconstruct your, um, your suit. So if you want to go out on the weekend and you rather want to pair your wide leg denims with a trucker, you could also do that. For more of a casual dress down look, because I 
find a lot of my friends that have office jobs, they struggle to distinguish what's going out clothes and what is work clothes. Yes. They feel like they don't want to wear their work clothes going out and you also kind of want to have that boundary between this is my work uniform, this is my play uniform. No, but you know me, I'm all about versatility and mixing and matching so you can really blend the two very easily and in a very clever way. Yeah. Um, and then just to talk dresses, what we're seeing a lot of are these graphic sort of mm. prints, um, abstract. This is obviously a sort of shirt dress. And I mean, I can see that going into winter, wearing it with boots, pairing it with a solid coat. Oh my and gosh, you absolutely. Will always no, be styling. Hitting the nail on the head. And okay. then, you know, we're also seeing a lot of red. For those who celebrate Valentine's Day coming um, up next month, could come in handy for that. Definitely. There's a pop of colour. There's so there. many exciting things that Woolies so have. So many things happening. Let's talk shoes, because okay. Woolies have launched their own premium leather collection of work back to work wear shoes. I say back to work wear shoes, but these are shoes for anything because I look at the height of the heel. Yes. The smaller the heel, the bigger the heel, the more comfort you're going to experience. 100%. But talk to me about this range. Yes, so as you said, it's Woolworths' new premium collection, so it's made from soft quality leather. Um, the packaging speaks for itself as well. It's like quite premium as well, but I just want to show you how premium it gets. Okay, so obviously your you need heels to open it to are, camera. Yes, oh, it gets its own little baggy. It's its own little bag, and this is um, the leather sling back court, oh. which is one of my favorites, simply because of the sling back, it's quite modern. Um, also with the open back, it doesn't constrict you, so it's a lot more comfortable. And then you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but the heel curves a little bit, which makes it quite modern. And it's of course a block heel, so the comfort you were talking the about. comfort is what you want. You do not want to run around a whole day in stilettos. Absolutely. I feel like that's just impractical. Absolutely. Now, I love that there are different styles, but yes. how would we wear this? Okay, so I mean, looking at this pair, I here, which is the ankle strap platform heel. We also want to talk about the height. I mean, this is a little bit higher, but the heel also allows for some comfort and sort of balance and support. But it's a, it's a platform, so technically it's simple girl maths. You yes. take this, you deduct that, and that's actually how high your heel is. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. true. Should we bring some ladies in so we can see these beautiful Why shoes not? on our model? So let's bring in our first model that's wearing the linen pinstripe suit. In fact, she's wearing the whole suit, but what shoe has she got it paired with? So she's got um, the double band block heel sling back um, heel on, and that is the lowest heel you'll find mm. in the collection. So those who aren't really keen on much height, this is a great option. Um, of course, the buckle details make it quite sort of elevated and give that premium feel. Um, but I also just want to touch on how quickly a shoe can change your look. Yes. We're going to really elevate sort of, the look. So we've got cute take little accessories. Off her bag. Remove her blazer. This is how you wore yours. Yes, that's how I, I wore the outfit the correctly. other day. And then, you know, like the slides I'm wearing. We're oh. going to pop these slides on. Look how you can go from office wear to casual to wear to okay. weekend wear. Look at that. She's ready for the weekend, right? And she still looks so chic. Yeah. Amazing. Still looks so chic. Okay, this was quite exciting, elevating yes. the look right here on TV. <laughs> um, let's get our next model in because Ooh. I'm here for the shoes. As someone that loves high, high heels, the minute I tried on a shorter heel, I realized you still get the benefits of the elegance heels add to your look, yes. but you don't kill your feet. It also just like lifts your whole look up. I mean, she's, um, Kaylin's wearing the court shoe, the sling back court shoe, which I absolutely love. Um, and I feel like these are the perfect shoe to take to, from the office to like an after work mm. meetup. So we're going to remove her blazer as well um, and take her bag. We're changing accessories. We're changing accessories. Okay, so she's obviously wearing her little chunky necklace Very as well lovely. Right now. Very yeah. lovely, um, And then she can take her little phone bag that oh. just popped out of her big work bag. Because and these she's days... For some drinks. That's what you want. You just need your phone on you because if you've got your um, your smart pay devices, exactly. you can use your phone for everything. Yeah. And so you're good to she's go. She's ready for a night out, just like that. There we go. I love this. I love, love, love this. Well, if you want to get all your work 
and get ready for work wear. You want to try these incredible premium leather shoes that Woolies have an offer. Discover the selection of classic to contemporary styles to elevate all of your on-duty looks. You can shop your back-to-work needs, including their new range of premium leather footwear at Woolworths. And these are available in-store, online, as well as on the Woolies app. Get ready for the sweetest competition of the year, thanks to Bayers. You stand a chance to win a dream getaway to officially the city of love, Paris, baby. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, purchase any sweetie pie, keep your till slip and scan the QR code in store or online to complete the entry form. One entry per till slip. Oh, I know you cannot wait for this one, but let me remind you that the competition closes on the 12th of Feb and your T's and C's do apply. Good luck. Good luck. Welcome back. You are tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express right here on S3. It's a Friday, baby. We can feel it. And listen, this weekend is a big one. It sees our very own Drickers Duplessy up against UFC middleweight champion Sean Strickland. So in order to have a, a bit of a feel of what's going to go down in the octagon this Sunday, we bring a champion in his own right, professional MMA fighter and former EFC bantamweight champion, Faiz the Troublemaker Jacobs is here. Uh, dude, we had your chat earlier on um, exceptional stuff. Thank you very much for your insight. Insight. But now we want to see because I think I think we're gonna see some interesting moves We're gonna see some things, but we want to have our audience be able to recognize and say okay Hey, I, I kind of expect now and I see where we're going with this. Absolutely I, I definitely like to show some mixed martial arts because Mixed martial arts is so broad and I just want to show a little bit of each martial art. Okay. Okay, so you brought yourself uh, a buddy here. Um, yes, my friend, is, how are you doing? You my my co-star. Nicely done. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm sitting this one out a little bit <laughs> because <laughs> I feel I might just injure myself. But take it away. What are you going to show us first? Because we want to see things that we potentially could see in the fight uh, of Drickers this, this, this weekend. So I'm going to start with some shadow boxing to show you some of the, the reflexes, to show you some of the, the blocks, some of the attacks, um, some of the wrestling scrambles, and uh, how, you to, how you should move from the feet and to the ground. All right. And from there, Mukendi and I are gonna get together and put together a little sequence for you so you can right. see it in action. Let's get into it, my friend. Okay, then put the pads on so long, I'll show the box. So it's all about that movement. All about the movement. You don't wanna be a stationary target, because people can shoot, they can go for takedowns, they can kick, boom. Pop, 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 wash this. Okay, as I'm throwing his attention up here, I'm gonna shoot and take him to the ground. Pop, 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 Oy. Okay, block, pop, pop, pop. If I see him try and shoot on me, 
defender takedown. Oh, nice kick to the face. Something to the leg, make him think twice. Hop. Ah, throw some power there. Hop, hop, hop. Shoot. Ah, he kicks, I catch the leg, take him down, some ground and pound. Pop, pop. Pass the guard. Boom, boom. Take the back. Just put on the submission. There's the choke. Okay. Unbelievable. Shoot. Unbelievable. Okay. Dude, that is, that, is, that is insanely quick and fluid. I think that is what it's all about when you train, right? Absolutely. Let's get that fluidity and that movement. Hours and hours of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. We'll show you some, some live drills. Um, these are scenarios that have uh, quite a bit of, of mixture in them. So you can see some kickboxing, boxing, some wrestling, and some jujitsu. All right. Jab inside. There you go. Whop. Yep. Hop. Hop. <laughs> yes. And his arm strap. <laughs> Not a scenario I would Eight. be in any time yep. soon. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Another one here. Whoop. What do? Zip. And a tap out. There we go. So I gotta ask if we're gonna be watching the fight uh, between Drickers and Strickland. Drickers likes to he likes to go to the ground. He likes to get in there. He likes to grapple as well. Is this something potentially that we're gonna see early on? Um, what do you foresee seeing? I think I think they're gonna test each other on the feet, and I think Drickers is gonna have a very strong advantage when he takes him to the floor, and he's gonna put some some good punches on him yeah. and potentially get the submission. But I do see it going. The TKO route, that means I think he's going to punch him until he's unconscious. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's All right, it. listen, I, I would love to try and get involved. Now, I've got some boxing experience, but I know this is vastly different. Um, so, 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 if you mind, do, do you mind showing no, me a couple no, of things? No, here? I'd love to. Okay. I think the, the boxing will actually help us. Help me help you. <laughs> help me help you. <laughs> All right, jeez, I haven't actually so we, done this in a while. We're going to combine some boxing with a little bit of wrestling. Okay. And then... Uh, some ground and pound. Okay, so I'm just gonna demonstrate on him. Okay. And then you can go. So you're gonna go four punches. Two, three, four. You're gonna step in, you're gonna grab the legs, and you're gonna just take me down. Boom, put me down, and you're gonna land some, some punches onto my guard. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, no pressure. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, then I'm going in. I'm and gonna throw you, you down. Yes. And then I'm gonna ground and pound you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try I don't know to, what's so funny. <laughs> try to look like Drikas when you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Yes. <laughs> oh, I get an applause. I get an applause. I think there's hope for me indeed. Yeah, maybe a championship belt in the future. Maybe a championship <laughs> belt in the future. Listen, thank you guys for just giving us a bit of a taste coming through. Um, it is going to be exciting. So Sunday morning, that is the time. Yeah, Sunday morning. And we're going to go down, time. my friend. All right. Absolutely. We are full. Listen, give us a last little thing there just to show I us think... one more time. Give us one more little movement. Okay, there. let's uh, just have a seat quickly. So sit, sit. Sit. Um, you're going to be performing this choke. It's the most common, most successful choke in MMA. So you go underneath the next called the rear naked choke. You lock up the arm on the bicep and you put the hand behind you. Now what you're going to do is you're not going to use your arms. That's too small of a muscle. Yeah. You need to use your whole back to squeeze. Your back so you're going to pull your elbows back and push your arms forward. Yeah. And that's the choke. Good <laughs> one. All right, gentlemen. Thank you okay. very much for years. Thank you very much. There we go, my brother. <laughs> I think I think you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> After you, all of that, for you, there we go, my friend. Thank all you the so best much, to sir. you guys as well in this year as well. Have a blessed, blessed 24. And uh, let's get behind Drickus, man. It's going to be epic. Thanks for showing me a thing or two. Now he just wet my appetite. Yeah. <laughs> let's just get into this. Transition a little bit. Absolutely. Huh? Come, 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 spend some time with me and let's get some training in. Yeah, it's a great way to keep fit, man. Maybe it's something to to consider doing something new. You know, step yeah. out of your comfort zone just a little bit. Yes, absolutely. I think you'd actually find that you feel very alive. Oh, for sure, dude. <laughs> for sure. Look, look at the smile on this man. <laughs> All right, guys, give it a go. Give it a try and then go for it and just do something new. Step out of that comfort zone a little bit. 
uh, snack time might just be the best part of the day, let's be honest. But when you've got school kids at home, coming home or going to school, it's important that those snacks choices are nutritious and most importantly, fun and engaging. So today, uh, we are going to be having a little fun and whipping up some inspired snack ideas. Definitely. And Clover have provided us with their yummy range of cheeses, their yogurts, their go nuts, peanut butter and juices. And we have some fresh fruit and crackers and a couple of cold meats to play with. So we are super excited to really just make it excited for the kids. Um, completely. Kids don't need a lot of big meals. Well, none of us no. need three big meals a day, to be honest. But kids especially, because they're so close to their kind of energy baseline, um, they pretty much use what goes in, which Definitely. is great. Which means snacking becomes a lot more important to pick up the energy when they need it. Um, I love the fact that you're doing your research, I mean, your uh, presentation first. So you want to make it fun and you want to make it engaging. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with our boards. Um, when my kids come boards. home, that's exactly it. I present it like a picture on a board and then they can have some fun with it. But we're going to be doing the constructing right now. Oh, so I've got some crackers I'm popping down and obviously oh. for me, I love snacking on cheese. So uh -huh. with Clover, they've got the Gouda full cream cheese. And what's quite cool is these are little individual pieces. So I'm going to show you when you open it up. It's oh, perfect very for snack cute. time. I'm going to cut this open. Sorry, G-Man. I'm just thinking of visually what my kids would absolutely love. And look at these individual little cheese blocks. Oh, Obviously, you can present it cute. like that. I personally am quite keen to open it up and just cut it in half to add it to a little society stick. Yeah, no, definitely. That's a great idea. Anything that is, like I say, engaging, that can kind of get them involved in the process or um, invested in the process is there for the win. Fantastic. Um, and the nice thing about this is you can kind of see the nutrients on the plate. You can kind of see where the, the, the mineral content is, the vitamins, where the protein is and you can create a very well-balanced um, meal as a result. Um, so I'm introducing the protein element We're first. We're going for my a little, little cheesy, fam absolutely well, love them. a cheesy chicken bite. Oh, I like that. And we're going to top it off. Oh, I actually would love like if there were some like cherry tomatoes on top of that. Ooh, but this will have to be a protein it. tomato. There we go. Yay, that How looks cute great. That? Um, I think I might need some cheese slices. Oh. Uh, do you mind bringing me some yogurt? Um, with pleasure. Would you like a juice? Uh, yes, please. I don't know if you... What are you feeling this morning? I'm going to bring... Um, let's go with a mango and an orange, and you can choose your favourite out of that. that. <laughs> Having some fun with that. For me personally, I love being able to just have options on my plate. Oh, for sure. A colour. I'm here for the colour. Um, and the colour is there for a reason. It's because our eyes identify nutrients through that colour. That's why we respond to bright fruit and bright vegetables in the way that we do. So don't be shy of the colour. It speaks to a very well-balanced diet. Definitely. Look at this. And we, we're making these on boards, but these are ideal little snack ideas to also pop into their lunch boxes. So you really can be creative when it comes to snack time. And this is not just for the kids. This is if a friend comes to visit <laughs> and you want to have some snacks you can do that too um even your own um snack time to be honest you Definitely. should be eating what your child is eating and your child should be eating what you're eating because that's the healthiest option right there i love the fact that you're keeping our workbench nice, nice and, clean. and tidy so, what a Straight on, should we get him I in think to so. just come and enjoy some of the freshness that we have presented well hello uh, this hello. is our kind of ground and pound where you we, put sure, it in the mouth sure. and then you ground and pound it no, with you, your teeth. you might have seen me hovering around <laughs> uh, because i love a good snack we, we felt did your presence say it's not a competition but what do you think of just, you know, enjoying various little snack platter ideas as a snack board. Okay. Uh, Graham, are you done? Uh, not quite, my friend. Almost there. I'm not going <laughs> to overload it because I'm thinking of what my kids like. And you know, like, yeah. if you give too much, they're just not going to get yeah. it. Exactly. You've got to give them for one option. I oh, options. yeah. So I was that kid. I loved options. Yeah. Um, and a bit of a balance of flavours. But, of course, my kids don't like what the other like at all. Like, so I've got to <laughs> feed them true. independently on two different planets. That's the, okay. the way that it works. And because you had a strenuous workout, Evis, uh, Yeah, that young was Evis, tough. Uh, I'm going to... We're going to add some protein I'm for I'm going to have you a little bit more protein just because you're a big guy. Extra you're a growing protein. young man and you need your protein. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oopsie, don't. Oop, don't. No one escapes. No it's a five-second rule. Got okay. it. Okay. And I think that's... Perfect. All right. Yay. Fantastic. Oh, like, was there a time limit on this? Because no, it wasn't a can I No, it's just we are inspired by nutrition uh, this morning. Oh, so that's what we were I going see. for. Okay. But I think that's enough for so, a snack. So I don't want to overload it. I don't have any uh, judging criteria. I'm 
purely going on what I see in front of and me. And what you enjoy. And what I enjoy. Um, Graham, I love it. I love your like, little wheels going on there. with really cool. I thought that was quite cute. I think really that, was, cool. that was very cute. I could just see my, of... my, my uh, boy especially would just be like, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I like, like that. Me. I like that. And Zoe's board is fully stacked. <laughs> this is um, a share platter. This is for when the friends are exactly. over. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Recommend Look, one person eat both, all of it. Both very, very cool, but... I, I've got to say, Zoe's, there's a lot of creativity in this one. I love the colours. I love what you've done with it. Um, I, will, I will give it to Zoe. Yep, and I'll say with the fresh fruit, great as well. Great want to have that balance there as well. It looks great. I think most importantly, I can see immediately my kids would look at that and go, ooh, yum. <laughs> and that is what yeah. we That's want. That's what we want at exactly. the end of the day. Um, and the joy is if they want a little bit more, it's quick and easy to throw it all together. If the base ingredients are the right kind of quality and offer you the nutrients, then you can jump off from wherever. And by having some fun and getting creative, you can make your snacks way, way better and the kids will love them. So set your kids up for success by ensuring that they always have healthy options available like Clover's range of amazing dairy snacks that you can do in a million different ways. Their cheeses, their milks, their juices, um, their yogurts, absolutely beautiful. Healthy options lead to healthy choices. You are educating your children when you feed them, teaching them how to make those choices. So back to school snacks just got way, way better. I feel like I need to make it. food I think that Zoe's enjoying this. Stick. Zoe's I, enjoying this way too much. I know. I'm doing food that can go we on a stick. We have our snacks sorted for the it's rest of this morning. Let's call it a Which platter. Which is incredible. Okay. Listen, <laughs> we're going to take a very quick break. We're chatting Champions Cup rugby with Lorenzo Ooh. Durries in just a second. And then we're also going to be connecting with a man you do not want to cross on the rugby field, Ibn Etzebeth. And he talks about all the triumphs on the rugby field. Stick around. We've got awesome. an epic show still planned for you. Thanks for the snacks, Zoe. Here we go. I'll a take that one, load actually. Yes, with please. a crunch. <laughs> <laughs> make my day, boy. Tropica, nothing smoother. I'm still making <laughs> food on a stick. You've started something. I know, these skewers are just too cool for school. No, once the game <laughs> begins, that never ends. I love it. We have been inspired to refresh ourselves this morning because it's been an incredible first hour. We've yes. left nothing out there, and we're going to continue on that trend. The hour two begins right now with those official duties. Oh. Ewan's got the news headlines. Look at that. Just smash it. Ciao. Cheers. Cheers to you. Mm. <laughs> Salami for me. Ah, there we have it. Snack time in the house. One minute ahead of 7 o'clock. Let's quickly take another look at your news headlines for your Friday morning. Starting off with your national news, President Cyril Maposa has launched a 1 billion rand housing project in Kimberley to tackle the housing backlog through public and private sector funding. Now, the initiative, the Northern Cape's largest housing project, plans for 4,000 houses in the initial phase, aiming to diminish the prevalence of 160 informal settlements. The mixed-funded infrastructure project is piloted in the northern and eastern 
Eastern Cape prioritising local contractors for job creation. The Northern Cape government says the project will be closely monitored to ensure that money does not disappear. And the matric class of 2023 achieved a 82.9% pass rate in the National Senior Certificate Exam. Independent schools recorded a 98.46% pass rate. The Minister of Basic Education, Angie Mochecha, announced the results, noting a nearly 3 percentage point increase from the previous year. The Free State ranked highest for the fourth, fourth consecutive year with over 89%. Following were KwaZulu Natal with 86.4% and Gauteng with 85.4%. The Northern Cape had the lowest at 75% and Melissa Miller of Rhenish High School in Stellenbosch secured the top spot among 717 377 matric learners. Making international news headlines this morning, the United States says there is no way to solve Israel's long-term security challenges and rebuild Gaza without Palestinian statehood. But Israeli, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has told the U.S. that he opposes the establishment of a Palestinian state as part of any post-war scenario, underscoring divisions between the Allies three months into Israel's relentless military assault on Gaza. Netanyahu pledged to press ahead with the offensive until Israel realizes a, and I quote, decisive victory over Hamas. And British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has urged the House of Lords to swiftly pass the Rwanda bill after it received approval from MPs. The legislation proposes sending some asylum seekers arriving in the UK to Rwanda for claims processing during a five-year trial. Successful applicants may be granted refugee status, while others can apply to settle in Rwanda or seek asylum in another safe third country. Sunak aims for deportation flights to begin in March. The bill aims to deter channel crossings, but critics label it an expensive and impractical gimmick. And we'll end up on this story, a bit of entertainment news this morning is that uh, Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer dominates this year's BAFTA Film Award nominations with 13 nods, including Best Film, Best Director and Adapted Screenplay. Cillian Murphy earns a nomination for portraying Robert Oppenheimer, the atomic bomb's theoretical physicist father. Now, Oppenheimer's uh, summer rival, Barbie, has received five nominations, sharing the count with the cult hit Saltburn. Poor Things earned 11 nods and Killers of the Flower Moon and the zone of interest each secured nine now despite being 2023's top grossing film and earning rave reviews barbie has missed out on a best film nod notably greta gerwick is also absent from the best director shortlist which features only one woman justine triet for anatomy of a fall and that's where we leave your news headlines for the seven o'clock bulletin we'll have another round for you at eight o'clock right now here's graham with your sports Thank you so much, Ewan. Let's kick it off with some rugby news and not the best news to report on. Springbok fly half Elton Yankees has been slapped with a four-year ban following a positive test for prohibited substance, clenbuterol. The South African Institute of Drug-Free Sport confirmed the findings, stating that Yankees excuse me, was guilty of using the substance after a random test on the 20th of June 2023. The so Yankees, of course, was part of the 2019 World Cup winning team, has faced previous controversies, including withdrawal from the team itself. We'll certainly watch this space as this new addition um, evolves. Now let's turn to cricket and a momentous performance yesterday. Will Jacks produced a fairy tale display smashing a remarkable century and just get those 42 balls and making vital contributions with the ball as well as the Pretoria Capitals secured a 17-run victory against the Durban Super Giants in their SA20 encounter last night. So Jax's explosive innings of 101 featuring eight fours and nine sixes propelled the Capitals to 204 for nine after opting to bat. Of clearly the right choice, and despite a late surge from the Super Giants, Jax's all-round performance playing a crucial role in securing the Capitals' win. What a night. Now let's turn to footballing action in Nigeria. They've secured a narrow 1-0 victory against the Ivory Coast in their Group A match during their African Cup of Nations campaign. So William Chuste Kong, he confidently converted a penalty in the 55th minute, making all the difference, beating keeper Yahya Fofana, giving Nigeria that crucial lead and point. And with this win, the Super Eagles now climb to the second spot in the group standings, tied with leaders Equatorial Guinea. And they'll face Guinea-Bissau on the 22nd of January in a bid to secure a spot in the round of 16. The Ivory Coast, they slipped to third, and they'll be looking for the same up against Equatorial Guinea on the same day. 
Now, the year's first Grand Slam has thrown some curveballs and yet another stunning upset at the Australian Open yesterday as unseeded Russian Anna Blinkova eliminated world number three, Yelena Rybakina. So Blinkova, ranked 57 at the moment, claimed the first set 6-4, then Rybakina fought back to level the match with the same scoreline. And the highlight of the encounter, though, was a record-breaking, history-making tie-break, in fact, with Blinkova clinching at 22-20 in over 31 minutes. Now, the marathon tie-break surpassing the previous record of 38 points collectively, marking the longest tie-break in singles match history at a Grand Slam. What a way to start the sporting year. Of course, we've got the small matter of Champions Cup of Rugby on the way this weekend. Lorenzo will be stepping into studio to let us know. You can ask any questions. Have your opinions heard? Hit us up on our social media platforms. We'd love to hear from you right now, though. Let's get you set for the roads. Thank you, Graham. Let's start off with traffic in Milneton, Cape Town. There's some congestion on the N7 northbound at Bosman's Dam. Expect delays and allow for more travel time this morning. It was a quick update. We'll bring another one for you at 8 o'clock. And looking at your weather disaster management teams in KwaZulu-Natal, they are evaluating the aftermath of heavy downpours with such as areas such as Etequini Metro, Ilembe and Hawick experiencing severe damage to roads and critical infrastructure. A level 5 severe weather warning was issued by the SA Weather Services earlier this week. Ongoing heavy rains have caused extensive road damage. Provincial authorities are reported to be considering a disaster declaration. There, has, there have been some 50 fatalities from weather-related incidents since December. Motorists are advised to exercise extreme caution, while residents are warned against crossing low-lying bridges as more rain is forecast. Well, at 7 a.m., let's look at your sunrise view. Mo shared this sunrise view from Westlake. What a gorgeous day ahead in the Cape Town area. If you would love to share your morning view with us, do so on our WhatsApp line. That number is 063-408-8863. Here's another look at your temperatures. prepped for the day ahead you know exactly what to wear and uh, don't forget the sun cream because I was gonna say wear nothing and just sunscreen <laughs> <laughs> there we go. it's gonna be hot listen uh, we're gonna take a very quick break mm -hmm. we still have a whole two hours left in your company we're chatting sport after yep. the break the champions rugby cup my mm. friend uh, Lorenzo Dari is here and he's gonna run us through all of the action yeah, look at that. I like, I like, we see the tattoo every time he lifts <laughs> up the hand. Uh, no, Champions Cup rugby uh, is not disappointing. Think of it as a UEFA Champions League of yeah. rugby. We love it. And then, of course, I had a very awesome pleasure, honour, uh, treat to sit down <laughs> with Urban Etzebeth, um, putting into kind of focus all of the craziness from the World Cup, but just getting an update from the man who is incredible. Get to see the Urban face. Yeah. We love it, man. So you get to partake in that. That's it. Lorenzo, just come on. You've got to show up that tattoo once give again. Us, give us one come more on, there, boy. Proud... Oh, Look come at that. on, all the way through from 95. Urban no, approves. I think <laughs> Urban would sure definitely you pick you up like a little baby and cradle you and go, oh, it's lovely. Mm, <laughs> don't want to cross that, mate. We'll see you after the break. <laughs>
It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. As we continue to go a little bit crazy about sports, it's been a wait, OK? So we want to embrace it this weekend. And in the final round of the Champions Cup, the Vodacom Bulls face Bordeaux. Ho oh, oh, ho, it's going to be tough, but they are in Pretoria, while the DHL Stormers, they take on Stade Francais in Paris. Another mountain to climb. Both South African teams seeking crucial wins for a playoff spot. Lorenzo Daris, um, well, there's just too much to be excited about right yeah. now, so we're going to just say, Drikas, we love you, guy. Yeah. Um, but let's focus on the Bulls right now. They've come good at the right time. They're in a rich vein of form. Yeah. Playing beautiful rugby at the moment. No, definitely. And then they're also at home. Added bonus. You always want to play these crucial matches for sure. at home where you need two or three points. You know, uh, you don't want to go for the outright win. But it is Bordeaux Bagels, and they the informed team. They've won unbeaten, three matches yeah. unbeaten in the Champions Cup. They've got 15 points, but they don't know about the altitude in Pretoria, so they're going to struggle. Oh, no, <laughs> and, or every team does. Yeah, every single do. team does. There's a reason why it's a thing. Um, yeah. So we, we get that. That being said, what's been at the heart of this Bordeaux's success? What's that, that win factor about for them? Look, the thing is, with, with French rugby, it's quite intense. Right, so these guys have to change their tactics all the time because of the amount of foreigners that come through in the For teams. For sure, it's a very and composite league. Yeah. yeah, and then Champions Cup is just taking them to the next level. They've been consistent in, in, in what they've been doing. Get the basics right and then just go out and enjoy yourself. And I think, you know, after seeing what happened in France with the World Cup, the French teams have kind of stepped up their game plans by bringing in a lot of South Africans. <coughs> and oh, they've got sure, yeah. Madosh Tembwa in the team as well, as well as Kari Saidi, Karlu Saidi. Um, so they're going to start off with some South Africans because they want to get those line out calls. So if you're going to hear Dree Nyeche yeah, they're going to be like, sure. oh, they're going, you know, out uh, in the middle. Uh, well, there's going to be some beef as well, yeah. bro. There's going to be some serious beef. I didn't realize to what extent, how just how <laughs> torrid a time the Springboks were given in France. Yeah. Um, and you'll see, chatting to, to Irvin a little bit later, like, it, it got real yeah. out there. So there's going to be a lot of emotion yes. in this match as well. Does that help or hurt the Bulls? Well, it's going to help the Bulls. I think it's going to help the Bulls with what Jake White has instilled in them. I feel confident. <laughs> they have put us through the, the most this season. Yes. I think Dobbo himself is exhausted because yeah. of the highs and lows. Um, now we've got to go to Paris and beat Stade Francais to be able to secure it. All bets are off, but uh, you've got to be a bit trepidatious about this one because now we are in enemy territory. Yeah, so. again, France. It's like for some reason we can't get rid of the French, eh? Hmm. The difference with this one is the fact that the Stormers has had a dismal express themselves to have it again to use yes. the word the license to be able to do this but maybe kind of in in the stormer's story maybe taking on Stade Francais with the kind of season they've had in Paris is a bit of a let off for us or maybe this is the chance for the stormers to bring that away record right either way two teams with an opportunity to make it into the last 16 the Bulls and the stormers flying that South African flag support if you can get out there in Pretoria go and support it will make a difference Indeed, it will make a difference. Go out and support. We're sticking with sport right now. In a historic feat, our rugby legends clinched back-to-back -back world title, showcasing unmatched skill and determination. And Graham recently, and he was terribly excited for this one, sat down with one of our heroes, Eben Ezebet, to discuss triumphs on the field and the seamless transition of winning spirit into a remarkable partnership with SA's top paint brand. Take a look. In this country, we all need that true north, our guiding light. And we know that our hearts beat to a rhythm of resilience. And yes, they do pump green and gold. And I think this is most powerfully echoed in those sporting heroes that embody that spirit of resilience, that dedication, that sense of sacrifice. In fact, these champions, now back-to-back -back champions, they've allowed us all to stand so tall. Albeit maybe not quite as tall as the living legend I'm about to connect with. Let's go. Given first of all, Papa Bear, congratulations, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> I, I know you're getting into the, the home straight. Uh, first of all, how are you and Anjep doing? How is the, the baby journey going, man? It's actually nice to be back in there and to settle down at home and yeah, start to plan the baby room and all the baby stuff. So. Yeah, we're excited to, to become parents. Yeah, life gets real very quickly. Um, you have been tested, I would imagine, over the last few months. In fact, the last few years, building up to this point, even if, as I look at your face now, so many of my own memories from this front row seat that I've had to watch your guys' journey unfold are flooding back. Have you been able to put it into perspective, or are you just going to put it in a shelf somewhere and leave it till you're 67 years old and then you can think about it? How are you feeling about this World Cup journey? 
winning a World Cup once is, is incredible. Not all players in the world can say that, but doing it back-to-back, -back, uh, only New Zealand has done it before. So, yeah, it's, it's incredible. There's a group of 60 players that have ever played rugby that have done that. Obviously, they that 30 squad and, and our 33 odd squad that have played this World Cup. So, no, it's a massive achievement. And like I said, we'll probably sink in, in in a couple of years. When you look at your band of brothers and what it's taken on the personal sacrifice, there is that thing that you guys have where you play, yes, for all of us, for 60 million South Africans, but you play for each other in a different way. Where does that stem from? The coaches played a massive role. I think before the World Cup and during the World Cup up until the quarterfinal, we had probably the squad that rotated the most. Um, obviously in the championship, we played one team against Australia, a completely different team against New Zealand, then a different team against Argentina, a different team away against Argentina. So it was mix and match the whole time. So that keep, kept the guys in the squad motivated because they know they, they could get opportunities. It's not like, listen, this is the best 15 guys. You put your guys. hand up, you're there, yeah. You put your hand up, you're there. So this is the best 15 guys and you won't get a chance. So everyone got a fair chance. And I think there was a stat that when we got to the quarterfinal, we were the most balanced team when it comes to game fitness and match minutes because no one was overplayed, but also no one was underplayed. So I think the coaches just strike the, the correct balance. And yeah, we, we obviously had to put in the performance on the field also, but yeah, it was a massive group effort from medical staff, coaches, players, everyone. So now we're back in South Africa and we are loving our South African brands. Um, we've obviously been following your relationship with Plascon for a while now. Um, and we always joke about you being the only human being that comes close to the, the kind of lighthouse and frame and structure, but there is so many great synchronicities with this powerful brand and where you're going. What was the motivation for you to partner with Plascon? Yeah, just just on the on the lighthouse, I painted the red part of our ladder. So, I was gonna say. Yeah, they, they asked me to do it. Um, no, it was um, when Plascon came. It was a, a great opportunity for me. Um, obviously, yes, I think the last year we've been really working well together. Uh, I really enjoy being partnering partnering with them, and they, they just it's not just a partnership, but they helped me also. I mean, I recently did my house, I did my kitchen over, and they were more than willing to help and did such a beautiful job and. Always when, when my house needs a, a revamp or a renovation, they always put up their hands. So it's been an incredible journey partnering with them. And I mean, the people that I met from Plascon is genuine people, uh, people who I love to work with. And yeah, it's been for me, it's been uh, a great partnership. When we talk about Microtex being able to stand up to the elements, you get a good taste over here. So it, whether it's a, a holiday home in Langebaan or it's a, a, a spot by the sea in Umschlange, obviously the product needs to stand up. Now that you've actually put it to the test, what are your thoughts? No, uh, I mean, the result is everything. It's, it's incredible. And like I just said, I even did my kitchen. Uh, all the cupboards <laughs> are, are, are nice and white now. Uh, but this is it's a great brand. And um, like I said, it's just so nice to be a part of. And, just uh, you can see it's a proper paint. It's not a, something that will come off after a year or two. It's a proper paint and yeah, something so great to be associated with something great like that. I'm going to say on behalf of the 60 million or so of us that have been left just speechless since this World Cup, thank you, my brother. Thank you guys did us proud. Okay. Thank you so much. Cheers, man. With giant brushstrokes of trust kind of being Urban's signature move, he has turned this canvas of camaraderie into a celebration of collaboration with one of South Africa's most trusted brands, Plascon. And just like he relies on his band of brothers on the field, he now trusts Plascon off the field to turn every one of his paint desires into an absolute masterpiece. It, sure, my oh, friend. Dude, what, a, what an absolute pleasure. Evan is just such a gem. He is one of the sweetest human beings ever, but when the Evan face turns on, dude, yeah, and I, know, I saw dude. that happen, a French guy walked past us, <laughs> and literally I saw his face changing. I'm like, what is going on now? <laughs> um, but it's so funny to me that uh, I looked bigger next to the lighthouse than I did next to Urban, okay? Dude, I realise how tiny you look. Oh, it's an unbelievable. Um, but I've got to say, uh, first of all, Urban, thank you yes. so much for opening your heart and, and giving us the inside track there, but a massive congratulations to you and Anlia because yes. a little baby girl has arrived. We don't know the name just yet. Um, he is going to be the most amazing father, certainly the most committed dad, That's I think, incredible. in the world. And him and, uh, yeah, him and Anlia are quite a formidable team. I yeah, think they are, they are a power smashed. couple, my friend. No. They really, really Oh, no, congratulations, but that was a beautiful incident. Don't cry, really dude. Was. If you cry, I'm going to cry. I'm okay? gonna Don't cry, cry man. You know, I'll cry, but oh. there we have it. Yeah, but what a legend, my friend. I think we're going to see a lot of this man still going forward. Yeah, and I wonder, how, I wonder know that baby girl, what she's destined to become. Uh, but we still got lots on the way on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's going to keep getting even more Feel Good.
When the cracks start to show, our strength and resilience is legendary. Mycotex, strong enough to endure anything. Oh, well, listen, we are so excited because what's a Friday without some incredible music? And the one and only Keenan Extian is here to bring down the house and make sure our Friday and weekend starts off on the right note. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back. You are still tuned into Feel Good Breakfast Show Express right here on S3. Right now, South African rock powerhouse Keenan Ixtian has released his latest single called Myself. Can't wait to hear it, but known, of course, for his electrifying stage presence and unforgettable performances, Keenan and uh, his bands are set to captivate audiences again with his exciting new release. And ladies and gentlemen, he's here. Let's give him a warm welcome to Expresso. Keenan Ixtian is here. <laughs> great when you're here because yeah. you bring such a nice flair and flavor really? to our set and more flair than those pants uh, listen <laughs> i'm wearing the bell bottoms just for you the the, the bootleg mm. but you know the last time you've been here how's things been for you because it's always exciting mm. to to catch up since mm. the last time we've seen you i have to say every time we are here the nerves do not go away uh. so just uh excuse the the, the mumbling <laughs> but uh, you yeah, know it's been very exciting since we've been here last um it, uh, it definitely picked up a lot and, and we're yeah, getting stuff done, doing shows and uh, yeah, releasing music non-stop. Yeah, did you have a busy festive period as well? We actually, we actually spent the festive period doing more uh, like production on the okay. side, doing some planning for the new year because um, by the time festive comes around and you haven't done your planning as a, as a band and whatnot, way earlier, yeah. you might lose that shot. So we took that as an as a opportunity to just make some music and then focus on what we're doing this year now. Ah. Do you yeah. ever rest? Did you ever, have you taken a holiday? Have you taken a bit of a break to recharge your battery? Yeah, well, with the with the uh, with the day-to-day -day life, um, it's not too. I mean, there's no there's no office job or anything that I have currently. So 
there's enough rest in between okay. where the hunger stays. You know, we just want to get out and, and do some stuff. And you're so. living your passion, dude. I mean, that is that is that I think that is phenomenal as yeah, well. Thankfully. Listen, we've had a front row seat to all the sound checks this morning. Yeah, 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 absolutely yeah. incredible. So you <laughs> want to stick around? He's going to have two songs that he's going to perform for us. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. But I mean, you guys are making headway. You guys are doing big things. You guys are into the European music scene mm. as well, having mm. a big footprint there. Yeah. I mean, is that a, a, a constant pressure of yours to to upkeep that side as well? And how does it play into what you are doing right? Now. I think for now, for the time being, there's not too much pressure because we're so young that, that um, you know, we're working hard to get there. So, I mean, from our side, there's, there's pressure on ourselves to obviously what can we do to get there quicker. But mm -hmm. I wouldn't say there's the, it's, it's not to a point yet where, you know, there's like, I would say, constant pressure in that, in that okay. sense. People are definitely wanting us back. But, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's, quite, it's quite up to us for now, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Let's talk about your latest single, mm. Myself. I Myself. think, you know, whenever you hear a song title, you try and imagine the direction the song would go before you hear it or hear the lyrics. Yeah. What direction is Myself about? Myself, actually, funny enough, the words are the, like the last thing I thought about. Um, that was written when I decided I'm looking for something that's upbeat, that's, that, you know, can get the people pumping. And I started off with the beat, and then from there on, you know, uh, what's, a, what's a good beat without some... some sad lyrics mixed in between that you might not <laughs> listen to, you know, yeah. Give them, give them the best of both. So yeah, it's a, it's a bittersweet, happy, dance, sad song. Nice. Um, but yeah, I like, I like to, to keep it up for interpretation. You know, tell me what you think it is. Okay. Uh, well, well, we can't wait to hear yeah. it, that's for sure. Um, you mentioned, uh, especially we're talking about international, I mean, this is also a goal, I mean, getting bigger into the mm. international scene, Europe wants you back. Indeed so. Now, now, how would you kind of describe your sound? I mean, because it is something that, that, is, mm. that is definitely falling on the ears of uh, yeah. those abroad as well. But for those people maybe just recognizing or learning about you for the first time, who are you guys? I would say at the start it was, it was much more all over the show. Um, starting out, because luckily me and my producer, we had a lot of creative freedom. So I was feeling around a lot. And I mean, there was so many different kinds of sounds if you listen to the earlier work. Um, whereas now, what I would ideally describe us as is um, you know, hyper energetic mm -hmm. rock and roll on the floor, but still a lot of modern. Um, so it's not you're not going to get your '70s dad band or something. You know, you're going to get yeah. some some good stuff. Oh, know? yeah, amazing. It's the best I can put it for now. Yeah. Oh. Any collaborations perhaps in the pipeline, or Ooh. you know, we've had this where artists sit here and they say who they would like to uh, mm. collaborate with, and you never know. You put these things into the universe. Yeah. So perhaps keep it local. You can even think big international. Mm. If I had to say locally, um, that's quite an interesting one. Uh, I do know that, that a lot of people now are doing quite a, a different thing where like Franco van Koop uh, mixed up with Neon Dreams and they mm. made where he sings Afrikaans, they sing English. I'd be up for something like that if it's local, you know, um, but also there's this cool band called Honeymoon. I don't know, it's, it's quite a, also rock and roll, but yeah, for now, or Bauer Bosch. Ah. Yes. Very cool production and also been very, very cool, cool friend the last while. So Love definitely one of those. Amazing. Well, Keenan, thank you very much for coming through. I know it's bright and early, but please, we cannot wait. Let's take do it. your Let's take do it. your take your spot there the and queue. go, go yes. perform there for us. Keenan Xtian with a brand new uh, single called Myself. I mean, this man's incredible. Like I said, the sound checks has been absolutely amazing. I would love to know if you could choose. We spoke about the local, but on an international front, who he would like to open for. I I could picture him opening for a Harry Styles. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Absolutely. Harry Styles. Keenan, is that somebody you would open for? <laughs> <laughs> this next song is called Lost My Way, ladies and gentlemen. It's a song about uh, when we tend to give a bit of everything, but, uh, you know, might lose it in the end anyway. Give me that intro. Lost my heart to you Lost my way Lost everything I ever thought I need someday. Lost my heart to you, lost my way, lost everything I ever thought I need someday. Woke up on a pretty Sunday morning.
This next bad boy is called Golden Fever, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. in studio man that what a vibe so smooth it's it's the type of music we can just listen to 
all day, Rogue every day. Dude, Rogue we, we love in. having you here. Thank you very much for coming through, you and your entire band. Stick around because we've got two more epic performances coming up from Keenan, including his brand new single called Myself. You don't oh, want to miss it. Cannot wait for some new music and some new material from one of the funniest men. In fact, he's one of our favorite sons. Alan Committee is back. And he's fast and, well, reasonably <laughs> furious that, this that, morning. That's how he starts off 2024. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he was on Africa's roads. You have to be. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, oh, it's an amazing new show and he's going to fill us in in just a moment. Oh, and we're going to try a trendy recipe, so don't go anywhere. Get ready for the sweetest competition of the year, thanks to Bayers. You stand a chance to win a dream getaway to officially the city of love, Paris, baby. Oh, yes. Now, purchase any Sweetie Pie, keep your tool slip and scan the QR code in store or online to complete the entry form. One entry per tool slip. Oh, I know you cannot wait for this one, but let me remind you that the competition closes on the 12th of Feb and your T's and C's do apply. Good luck. Good luck. Welcome back. We are absolutely delighted, to say the least. Welcome back. One of our favorites, Alan Kamiti, uh, one of South Africa's also leading lights in comedy. He is incredibly funny and such a gent as well. Known, of course, for his rather sharp wit and energetic performances, he is set to entertain audiences once again with his brand new show, Alan Committee in Fast and Reasonably <laughs> Furious. <laughs> it premiered last night, and uh, we can't wait to find out what the response was like. Alan, lucky to have you, my friend. Always a pleasure, always a delight. It's nice that there's three of us here. It's like a little mini boy band, isn't it? Yes. It is. This is no direction. No <laughs> direction <laughs> whatsoever. Man, it's good to be back. Uh, great. Listen, we've yeah. actually been running for a while. Really? Uh, this run started uh, before Christmas, but oh, started quite okay. uh, late. But and now we're into the kind of new year, and it needs that little boost because uh, people have gone back. The city's slowly emptying for the first time since eight weeks. This is the first time I've come out of my house. Other than out of your shell. You know, my, my little mm. girl said that the other day. She's like, everyone looks like a zombie. We are. Uh, it's I was the like, yeah, oh, no, that's living dead. That's called reality <laughs> sinking back in. Right you know? back in. Um, you ended the year on a bang, and I'm guessing you're going to start this one with that same kind of energy. How are you doing, first of all, at the start of 2024, my brother? Strong. Uh, 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 still got a bit of post-festive vibe, good. which is good. Just enough mm. to get me through to Jan 27, <laughs> and then I'll have to find some <laughs> new impulse. But uh, uh, really good. And as I said, we started the show, Fast and Reasonably Furious, now my 26th solo one-man show. Wow. And um, 
We had the most extraordinary end to the year, which was just uh, amazing, and, and still wonderful responses from, from Cape Townians and still the few foreigners left yeah. in the city, those up country. The city was too full at one point. I don't know if you felt <laughs> it was It was, it was too capacity. It, it, 100%. For sure. And now to just uh, release into back to school and a little bit of uh, fed madness as it lies ahead. <laughs> We're, we're having a blast yeah, at Theatre in the Bay, which is one of the most beautiful theatres in the country. Yeah, it, it and it's your me. home, and we love it. It is my yeah. second love home, that. to be yeah, fair. Yeah, 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 I love it. love it. Listen, chat to us about the show. For yeah. those who haven't seen it, yeah. fast and reasonably fast. So I'm a fan of the franchise, are you? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. The, because you family. and Vin Diesel look almost identical. Well, that's right. Yeah. It's me, Vin Diesel, and Dale and Oliver, essentially, <laughs> the same people. Um, <laughs> Vin Diesel and Paul Walker were the two who started the franchise yeah. all those years ago, yeah. which is weird, because if you think Diesel and Walker... That's the opposite of Fast and Furious. <laughs> if anything, it should have been pedestrian and placid. But um, uh, I take that as a starting point, the madness of those movies, how it's about fast cars and kind of furious, um, uh, uh, speeded up uh, vehicles. And then I apply it to kind of everyday life, how 2023 for most of us was too fast and too furious. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. And then we look at all the stories, because I'm a big fan of... I'm a storyteller as a comedian, as a producer, as a writer. But I also believe we all have stories. Everybody wants mm. to be seen and heard. And uh, so we look at all the big stories. The Rugby World Cup, I mean, you were chatting earlier to yeah. Eben. Uh, I look at actually the difference between the Springboks and the, the Proteas cricket side. Because you know the Springboks, there were 31,000 people who met them at Oatamba on their <laughs> arrival. For the cricketers, there were people who had flight schedules who, who didn't even turn up <laughs> for fear that anyone thought they were crickets. What I know, and that's no good. So I unpack that on my trusty flip chart. Uh, plus, we look at all the big stories. Uh, sign language becoming a 12th language uh, yes, last year. Yes, brilliant. Uh, yeah, big yeah. news. That was a big one. Um, I talk about, um, well, essentially everything from traffic and right through to growing 50, because that's my big story. I turned 50 a couple of weeks ago. Oh, Oh, really? I, know, Congrats, I feel the same. Thing. Congrats, Thank you. Very man. Kind. You don't Enough, look it at all. Well, <laughs> say that again on camera, and I want to prove. <laughs> and we put it on YouTube afterwards, yeah. and Please. you can make it go viral. That's all I want. It'll be I'm now back. so old, I'm starting to take advice from myself. <laughs> That's not good. But can you trust the advice you get oh, no, from never. yourself? I, turn it down almost immediately. I also now, you two both are fit young men, which is Thank tremendous. You. Thank you for saying when that. I run, I now realize I run slower than when I walk. <laughs> I make the shape of running, but the effect is very much of walking. Now, listen, the conservation of energy is vital at our age. 100%. You've got to just manage your set quota yeah. of... Yeah. I, I mean, mean, I've seated now for the rest of the day. I'm not moving. Just, said, <laughs> I'm here for the rest of the show. And you can have it. It's a lovely couch. It is a it's got great couch. lower lumbar support. Thank you. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I was wondering um, what that was. I yeah. thought it was the microphone. It's actually got a massage element <laughs> if you can see, you know, it's the absolutely shape of it. We haven't yeah. found yeah, the yeah. button yet, but it's very, very nice. <laughs> Buddy, I've got to ask, because you, you're able to walk a line. You mm. can be just so cheeky. Yeah. And, and we need that from you. But it's, that line seems to be very blurred these days. As a comedian, has it changed the way you kind of comment on the social standings, because the world feels polarised, yeah. and all of us are affected by it now. Yeah. It doesn't matter what corner of the world you're in, we're all affected 100%. by global politics, by what's going on. There are a lot more sacred cows. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's super sensitive. <laughs> well, yeah. this is it. Has it changed the way you roll? No, not me. I, I think if you're, if you're a good enough comedian, you should be interrogating your material anyway. Yes. You should be very clear where you stand on any perspective. Mm. Uh, and if you're doing that, it means, mo for the most part, you're covered for yourself. You're not always going to get it 100% right, but you should be getting it 99% right most of the time. And, and I guess the other thing is, if you... It, again, not everyone's going to laugh at everything. Exactly. So you have to assume uh, that if, it fi if you find it funny and you can give it a good enough reason, you've thought about it, you can back up why you're making that joke, mm. Then you're in you're in good safe. Then go all in. Then, go go all in. In. then yeah. you double down in if anything. Oh, exactly. uh, do you know what I mean? And then if you, if you have to explain your way out, then you do. Just so for a... me, it, nothing much has changed other than to say I'm always very aware of those sensitivities and of the oh. polarization. But, but I'm not the kind of comic who's out there to deliberately shock. I would rather be inclusive of, of an audience. I want everyone to have a great night out. You come to my shows, as you both know, you can bring your grandchildren, you can bring your grandparents. We want everyone there. We have a great night. I'm going to tease you. I'm going to push it a little bit. The envelope will get squashed a little bit and stretched out. <laughs> Made into a paper plane and 100%. thrown out the window sometimes. Yeah. But that's it. And, uh, but I'm not there to deliberately make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. In, in fact, you, you, you want people to feel comfortable. Yeah, it's almost the opposite. That's what you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, yeah. I love the fact that you're saying, you know, when, whenever it comes to a comedian, and, you know, you've got to be very clear on that line where you stand. Yeah. Well, and that's your work at home. To... That's exactly. your preparation. Listen, um, we want to come see your show. You uh, must. I would love to come and see your show. I haven't seen it yet. But, but why should people come and see your show that haven't seen it? 
it. Look at the camera here. All right, this, this camera here, here. Yes. Uh, beautiful. Well, it's a delight. Uh, listen, we're on till the 3rd of <laughs> it's, it's Monday <laughs> to Saturday. There's a laugh. Uh, we've also, and this is maybe the real reason, we've put an interval in the middle of the show. It's a free 20 minutes, OK? You can do with it what you want. And um, if you don't choose to use those minutes, we can uh, we actually convert it into e-bucks <laughs> and play, pay it into your account. I think that's true. For petrol. <laughs> For petrol. <laughs> oh, I'm going to need petrol. Is it paying me to get home? Or do I stay here now? I, I know you stay. Listen, come and see the show. It's great fun. It's uh, two hours uh, in which you can release from all the madness of the world. It's me on stage telling sillinesses and you in the audience having a good giggle. Sillinesses. I, I love like it. It's a good word. It's a that's good why word. you fit in here so well, the sillinesses. <laughs> <laughs> All the silly necessities. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Listen, uh, tickets at Web Tickets. Yeah, that's right. 180 to 280. Very affordable. Very affordable, great. well priced. Yeah, Cheap. very well priced. Cheap. Well done on that. Cheap at the price. That's what <laughs> they've said about me too often. <laughs> <laughs> Alan oh. Committee, you're a legend, my friend. Thank nice you to very be much. We love you, man. Fast and reasonably furious. <laughs> Well, you know, you can't believe everything you see on social media because every now and then you see a cool recipe or a really cool hack, you have to try it out for yourself to believe it. Now, these popular Brazilian sweet treats have hit the social media streams and we are here to try it. Now, all you need is condensed milk, butter and coconut. These are ingredients that most South Africans always have in their homes, in their pantries. But before we attempt these, let's have a quick look at what this trend is all about. This looks like a mini creme brulee donut, but it's not. It's a popular sweet treat in Brazil called Bala Baiana. It's a sweet coconut filling coated in hard caramel. It's super easy to make. Mix together sweetened condensed milk, butter, and desiccated coconuts or coconut flakes. Heat the mixture over a medium low flame for roughly eight to 10 minutes. Keep mixing until it becomes thick and no longer sticks to the pan like this. I put some cling film on my plate. This is optional, but the mixture is sticky. So pour it onto your plate and let it cool down. Lightly grease your hands with vegetable or sunflower oil and shape them into balls. Place them on baking paper Paper and refrigerate them. Refrigerating is optional but it just makes it easier to coat it in the melted sugar. Add one cup of sugar, half a cup of water and one teaspoon of vinegar to a pot. Heat the mixture on a medium high heat for roughly 15 to 20 minutes until it's amber. Either stick a toothpick in the balls and coat it in the melted sugar or use a fork. Then leave it for a few minutes to harden and that's it. It's easy peasy lumbo squeezy. I get a lot of questions on how to get rid of the hard sugar from the pot. Just fill it with water and boil it, stir it and once the sugar has melted pour the water down the drain and that's it. Well, this is a recipe I need extra hands to help me with. Straight on, are you yeah. ready to try the bala what, what bananas? Do you call this again? Bala bananas. Bala bananas. At Clank's is baya bananas. Baya bananas. Baya bananas. Right. This is an interesting one. It is. So we're going to start off with our little can, saucepan. Can I, can I do something on this side? By all means, you can put our butter followed by our condensed milk. In here. And we'll, yes, please. Okay. And we'll finish it off with the coconut. And based on her video, you want the consistency to really be where it just pulls away from the pan yes. and forms a bit of a ball. Okay, so condensed milk going in. All of it, right? All of it, all okay. of the condensed milk, as well as a little bit of coconut. So that's how simple this is. Oh. We've already started making our syrup. So we just use the sugar, the uh, water, and a little bit of vinegar based on her recipe. Okay. And once the mixture Ewan is making now is cooked, it's emulsified and it's cooled down, you can simply roll it into little balls, which we've done. Now, I actually want to get this into the syrup as so, quickly as possible. So, refrigerate, I heard there, uh, is not, uh, you don't need to do it, but it is advised. It is advised. I mean, if it's, if it's going to be a hot area, I kind of just want to get this dipped into the syrup to really see if it creates that little hard crack. Okay. There so we we've go. got one here and we're going to leave it. I just want it Need to cool it down. Toffee apples. So let's see how this turns out. I'm just dripping some of the syrup off. A uh, good job. Look at that. And then should I just put it on the plate? Yeah, yeah, we put keep it on the plate. It, should we keep it with the Like stand up like that. Okay. Then let's do a few cuz as soon as that dries it should make that little cracking. Look, sound. I'm really keen to taste because I love condensed milk. Oh, me too. I All love right. anything sweet. <laughs> You've got me at anything sweet. Okay. Okay, so Look, we are very... I must be honest, so far this is quite the, the easy recipe. 
Well, now we need to see whether one. it's a success or a hot mess. Because yeah. sometimes you see these things on TikTok and you're like, yeah. really? And then sometimes you try it and it actually doesn't work yeah. at all. We've had a f our fair share of that this whole week on this show. Listen, um, so, so what's the deal with this mixture once again? So you want to go up until when? Until it emulsifies and, it you know, it, it starts moving away. It almost becomes a bit of a paste. Oh, dough, okay. And then and you it know moves it's away ready. from the sides. Okay. Yeah. And then obviously you wait for it to cool because <laughs> before you start kind of rolling it with your hands. Yes. Okay. okay, I'm actually having a lot of fun with this caramel. I can see you are. Okay, so let's see if this works or not. Bala Bayana, let me Bala Bayana, sorry, will you feel brand new? Yeah, so there we so go. And like she, she used a fork, so that's also an option. We're just going to go with the little yeah. um, wooden sticks. I'm obsessed with sticks right now. Okay, do you think that sugar will cool down quite rapidly? It, it, it or? cools quite quickly because I have a feeling this first one we've done might already be ready to... This was the first one, right? The, no, that's the second one. There we go, that one. <laughs> let's see, let's see if it happens, if it cools down in time. Okay, wait, this could... There we, we go. It leaves the sticks in, but we're trying work. it this way. We're trying it this way. That's one way of cooling hey. down the sugar. Well, you know... I want, I want Alan to come and taste one, so I, I don't want him to, to, to hurt himself. Can we get because... Alan Committee to come, yeah, come and join us? Yeah, yeah get in here, my friend. Come on camera. Oh, have have what, the, what are these called again? These are Brazilian sweet treats called Baia Baianas. Okay. I had that Bala once. Baiana. I went to a doctor and said I had a Baia Baiana Sunday. <laughs> really? They applied a syrup and it was so much better. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, well, you see now. This is nice, you too, because people say to oh, me... Oh, look at that. It is works. it hot? Is it hot? Okay, it, it was work. the fanning that helped. You see? Okay, my friend, have a bayabayana. Bayabayana, all right. Sure. Bayabana. Oh, bayabana. Bayabana. We're supposed to get the cracking oh, wait. sound. Oh, 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 oh look yeah. at her. We are stuck. Okay. Full rip rip. Wow, now don't we're cheers. talking. We are forever connected. Okay, <laughs> how about I do the cracking sound? All right. Are you ready for it? Is that one ready? Yeah. This one, it should be. Oh, Can you want to try yours? I think mine's broken now. Oh, you're going to break the plate. <laughs> And then it's got the soft chewiness on the inside. What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what have you made? Oh no! Oh, hey, that's you can eat nice. it with your hands. I'm gonna eat it with my hands. Yeah. I can't even. I'm, so, I'm not saying I'm a bad cook, but the other night I made a slice of soup that no one liked. <laughs> a, slice <laughs> a slice of, of soup. soup. Oh, that's nice. Is it yeah. yummy? Mmm. Okay. Oh, that's good. It's sticky. It no, I think it's nice. No, no, no. I had to check if my what teeth came out with it. <laughs> sweet. I couldn't even get through the sugar. <laughs> this is just sugar. Okay. Okay, go ahead. No, it, it's condensed milk, coconut, lime, butter. Mm. 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 OK. It's so, more. Success or hot mess? I love... Uh, no, I mean, success. The, success. It is a success. Mm. It is really good. It. But it's chewy. The, the sugar. So maybe chewy. I must cool down a bit more. Maybe I put too much sugar syrup on it. This is still going to be with me at lunch and then at dinner. Mm. Get in my mouth. I'm feeling this will break my teeth. This is great. I want to take a second bite, but it's taken quite a while. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Alan. Sir. Baya Bayana, my friend. I love it. Yeah. I'm going to have it. I'm doing it. Are you going to go for it? Mm mm. No? Right? Mm. I'll tell you what. Have a bite. Mm, I can't. With me. Okay. And I'll tell. Tell our viewers that uh, we're going to talk some entertainment news up next. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, entertainment news up next. <laughs> I would not be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're such a professional. My teeth are sticking together. <laughs> these aren't even my teeth. <laughs> Whose teeth are these?
Welcome back, you beauties. I love having Alan here because I don't have to do a thing. You know, we look exactly the same. It's like looking in a mirror sometimes. I feel like I'm standing, standing next to you, yeah, but it's a bit again. Yes, <sighs> someday. We could be the bomb squad right here, friends. <laughs> It's like, like a cracker squad, a little mini cracker squad. Right. Okay, so what's coming up next? Uh, it's time for the news. It's always time for news. Here's some more news. News, news. And then sports. And then I'm off. Oh, and then sports afterwards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, it's been a delight being here. I'll be back probably tomorrow, same time. Miss Love you. Miss you <laughs> <laughs> Alan Committee. Let's get into the news right now. It is 8 o'clock. Let's hear it like for the last very time. Uh, starting with the national news. The National Police Commissioner, General Fani Masamola, is this week acting as host for his Angolan counterpart, General Arnaldo Manuel Carlos. Now, the purpose of the working visit is for Angola's police force to benchmark, gain, and share insight and knowledge on how the SAPS prevents and tackles transnational uh, organized and emerging crime trends. Now, the visit by Carlos and several senior officers follows a partnership that the two countries' police services concluded in 2017. Masamola says the visit is an uh, opportunity for the SA Police Service to show off its expertise and skills. And President Soro Maposa has launched a 1 billion rand housing project in Kimberley to tackle the housing backlog through public and private sector funding. The initiative, the Northern Cape's largest housing project, plans for 4,000 houses in the initial phase, aiming to diminish the prevalence of 160 informal settlements. The mixed-funded infrastructure project is now piloted in the Northern and Eastern Cape, prioritizing local contractors for job creation. The Northern Cape government says the project will be closely monitored to ensure money doesn't disappear. Making international news headlines this morning, Kenyan cult leader Paul McKenzie and 94 followers have faced terrorism tar charges following 429 deaths. McKenzie, a self-proclaimed pastor, denies the allegations, and this after mass graves were found in a remote forest. Additional charges related to child torture and assault emerged as victims exhibited signs of starvation. McKenzie allegedly instructed his Good News International church members to move to the, Shaka the Shakahola forest and prepare for an Apocalypse. Now, witnesses reported receiving fasting instructions in January on how to reach Haven. And the United States says there is no way to solve Israel's long-term security challenges and rebuild Gaza without Palestinian statehood. But Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has told the U.S. that he opposes the establishment of a Palestinian state as part of any post-war scenario, underscoring divisions between the Allies three months into Israel's relentless military assault on Gaza. Netanyahu pledged to press ahead with the offensive until Israel realizes a, and I quote, decisive victory over Hamas. And we'll end off with this story. A critically endangered western lowland gorilla was born in London Zoo on Wednesday in a swift 17-minute labor. Now, these gorillas facing a high risk of extinction inhabit remote rainforests in western central Africa and with a decline exceeding 60% in the last 25 years due to deforestation, poaching and disease. Their status is critical. Now, the newborn's mother, Mjuku, called, uh, cradled her offspring shortly after the birth, then allowed the troops' youngsters to inspect the new arrival. Now, zookeepers using CCTV cameras monitor Mjuku's pregnancy and witness her tenderly holding her newborn. Absolutely adorable. And we've got to do everything we can to save the species. I mean, just look at that image. Absolutely special. And that's where we leave your news headlines for your Friday morning. Right now, let's take a last look at your sports, getting into your weather as well. Uh, from those beautiful small victories on the conservation space, we jump into the sport with uh, heartbreaking news, really. Springbok fly half Elton Yankees has now been slapped with a four-year ban following a positive test for the prohibited substance clenbuterol. The South African Institute of Drug-Free Sport confirmed the findings, stating that Yankees was guilty as a result of using the substance after a random test revealed this on the 20th of June 2023. Of course, Yankees was part of the 2019 World Cup winning team, but he has faced previous controversies, including withdrawal from that team. And we'll certainly watch the space. But uh, as I said, heartbreaking news to report on. Now let's turn to cricket and a man putting his hand up. Will Jacks produced a fairy tale display, smashing a remarkable century in just 42 balls. And then, of course, also making vital contributions with the ball as the Pretoria Capitals secured a 17 run victory over the Durban Super Giants in their 
SA20 encounter last night. So Jax's explosive innings of 101 featuring eight fours and nine sixes propelled the Capitals to 204 for nine after opting to bat first. And despite a late surge from the Super Giants, Jax's all-round performance playing that crucial role in securing the Capitals win. Well done, young man. Now let's turn to our continental football in Nigeria. They secured a narrow 1-0 victory against the Ivory Coast in their Group A match during the African Cup of Nations. So William Trust Ekong was on point, confidently converting a penalty in the 55th minute, beating keeper Johanna Fofana and giving Nigeria that crucial lead. So with the win, the Super Eagles now climbing to second spot in their group. And that's tied with leaders Equatorial Guinea. And they will, of course, face Guinea-Passau on the 22nd of January in a bid to secure that top spot and their progression to the round of 16. Now, Ivory Coast, they slip down to third and they'll be looking for victory, a much-needed win against Equatorial Guinea on the same day if they want to progress. Now, the year's first Grand Slam has thrown us some curveballs and in another stunning upset at the Australian Open, unseeded Russian, while the Russian teens have been coming hard, uh, Anna Blinkova, she eliminated world number three, Yelena Rybakina. So Blinkova ranked 57 in the world at the moment. She claimed a first set 6-4 win, then Rybakina fought back to level the match with the same scoreline. Then the highlights of the encounter, undoubtedly a record-breaking, history-making tie-break, with Blinkova clinching it 22-20 in over 31 minutes. That's one tie-break. So this marathon tie-break surpassed the previous record of 38 points collectively, marking the longest tie-break in singles match history at a Grand Slam. Ladies, I think it's going to be your year if this is an indication of the sport to come. But we love it. And once again, rounding off our sports, oh, please, Dricker, Stuplessis, go and seal the deal against Sean Strickland this weekend. He is, of course, fighting for that UFC middleweight world belts. So all South Africans will be behind him. But right now, most South Africans heading out onto the road. Let's get the latest on the traffic front. Thank you, Graham. And we start off with your traffic in Alexandra, Johannesburg. There's a stationary vehicle. It's on the M3 northbound before London Road. That right lane is closed. Please drive carefully. And in Randburg, Johannesburg, there's congestion on the N1 northbound between Malibongwe Drive off-ramp and Bayer Nodia Drive. Traffic is slow moving. Remember to maintain a safe following distance. Then in Cape Town, there's some congestion on the N1 inbound at Platterkloof Road. Expect delays and add extra travel time this morning. That's your traffic. Let's take a final look at your weather. And the SA Weather Service has issued a warning for extreme high fire danger conditions in central and western parts of the Western Cape, <clears throat> excuse me, and the western interior of the Northern Cape. Also, the West Coast District in the Western Cape and sections of Namakwa District in the Northern Cape anticipate extremely hot conditions with temperatures exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. Western Cape authorities have cautioned about heightened wildfire risks during this period. The Cape Winelands District has faced recent challenges, including fires at Franschhoek and against Paulberg. Mayor Elna von Schlicht predicts a rise in fires due to the expected very high temperatures during the next few days. Well, that's your weather update. Here's a final sunrise view for you. Our 8 a.m. update came from Nick, who is in Lurisfontein in the Northern Cape. Look at that gorgeous sunrise. Well, we would love to see your morning view, so share it with us on our WhatsApp line. The number is 063-408-8863. Here's a final look at your temperatures for your Friday.
Paris City today. 41. Oh, my word. Apply the sunscreen today. <laughs> don't get burned. Just stay indoors. Just stay <laughs> indoors. Um, why don't you try uh, a gander at a Powerball? Why? Because you could literally rewrite your destiny by playing Powerball for a draw-dropping 100 million rand guaranteed jackpot this Friday. That is one of the biggest jackpots we've seen, well, certainly since we've been a partner. Yeah, that man, is for massive, sure. This man. is life-changing stuff we're talking about. I mean, just imagine how your life would change if you won that much moolah. Yeah. I mean, I, I certainly have a couple of ideas. I know exactly yeah, man. I think everyone's life would change around me. I think <laughs> that's just we'd all stop yeah. working and we'd just go to Bali. Um, but you can only win, of course, if you actually play and put yourself in the running. So make sure that you get your tickets for today's draw. And you can buy your tickets in store. You can head over to the nationallottery.co.za website, their mobile app. You can use your self, uh, cell phone banking. Or you can go the conventional route, go analog, <laughs> star 120, star 7529 hash for that USSD. Exactly. A lot of details, but we have posted all of the details on our social media channels so go and check them out and start picking those lucky numbers today put some thought to behind it mm. question is would you be mzanzi's next multi-millionaire find out push a play and find out good luck oh, right. man that is a biggie well, perhaps 100 million will put you on our entertainment news because you're so famous you're a celebrity hey, exactly. um, now we do love to catch up with what the stars have been doing and it's kind of the, the year on the entertainment front seems to be waking up so we'll bring For you the sure. latest on the entertainment news front it's award season my friend of there's the emmys we'll also bring you all of the red carpet action we'll take you through and look who wore it best i suppose mm, yeah worst lots of fun we're gonna have a lot of more fun one more hour in your company stick around Welcome back. You are tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express right here on S3. Wonderful to be in your company on this Friday morning. But right now, it is time to dive into the world of entertainment news. And today, we are catching up on the Emmy Awards that took place earlier this week and uh, the top four memorable moments. And, and this is obviously from our perspective because yeah. there were some amazing moments with a South African connection. Oh, we and of can't course, the man. Proud. Oh, once again, he has made history and he has made us so proud. Congratulations, Trevor Noah. Oh, he's done it. Comedian Trevor Noah has bagged his Emmy. He received an Emmy Award for Best Variety Talk Series on behalf of The Daily Show. And in fact, this is the first time that the show has won the award since prior host 
John Stewart, of course, done it. And I think what I love about this, this platform, he's become a political commentator as much as a comedian in that process, but he still hasn't let go of the South African connection. He's mm. obviously been celebrating the win with a lot of his mates, um, and he took to social media to really express his gratitude to his amazing team for receiving the award. And I think he is the first to highlight that he has a team of writers. Yeah. He runs that ship. He really is the captain, or was yeah. the captain of that ship, but an incredible achievement uh, ahead of some comic geniuses who play a vital Aww. role politically, I think, in America's landscape. They have been a voice for so many people in a, in a very polarised time in America. So kudos to this young South African lad for stepping up and becoming a global force. And Absolutely. look at that incredible team. That's amazing that they also got to join on the stage. Mm. Yeah, I know. I think he had to do that. Well done, Trev. Yeah. Oh. So what a, what a platform this gent is operating on at the moment. Eh? But it's also what he's creating. It's what he's created for himself as well, yeah. You think of the young South African comics, the young South African presenters, actors looking yeah. at this going, OK, I can do it. Yeah. If you can do it, I can do it. Definitely. We love you, Trev. Well, more Emmy news. Christina Applegate presented the first Emmy. And since receiving a diagnosis of uh, multiple sclerosis, MS, in 2021, Christina Applegate made a rare public appearance to present the first Emmy for supporting actress in a comedy series. Now, if you're not sure what MS is, it's a chronic disease of the central nervous system. MS is unpredictable. Yeah. Some people may be only mildly affected. Others may lose the ability to see clearly, write, speak, or even walk and early symptoms can include vision problems trouble walking and tingling feelings um, if you watch the ms you would have seen she was um walking with a, a stick, stick and assisted, so yeah. yeah i mean she's got a good sense of humor she made a little joke there so yeah and she's always been kind of that person like she's you know she's great in dramatic roles but you can take the edge off she's got a yeah. kind of dark wit about it but kudos to her for being vulnerable enough to put herself out there you can imagine going through something that's so deeply personal mm. but you a major celeb and the whole world is constantly looking at you she's embraced that and said okay well i'm going to show other people who have ms and those in those communities that you can still get up and do it Definitely. literally so well done to and her. she was also nominated for best actress in a comedy for dead to me and she hasn't announced any new projects since her condition so um obviously we're sending her yeah. loads of love yeah. yeah but i just love like you say to how she's how she's stepping up and she's just making it known and she's open and vocal about it which i think is fantastic yeah, no she is a powerhouse that's for sure and then on to some uh, movie news succession um dominates the bear and climbs a uh, comedy quinta and uh, brunson makes history so there's Big a couple names. of movies there that really stand out and of course focusing on the first one succession the hbo saga of the dysfunctional generations of a maladjusted media empire won the top prize for its fourth and final season and then also winning the best actress in a drama for Sarah Snook and the best actor in a drama for Kieran Culkin. Oh. Yeah, so 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 fantastic acting coming through there from, from those individuals as well uh, doing the things and then uh, The Bear feasted as the night's top comedy. Uh, Quinta Brinson of Abbott Elementary and uh, Stephen Yuen and Ali Wong of Beef also had historic wins at the 75th Primetime Emmy Awards in a Martin Luther King Jr. Day ceremony that was finally held four months late mm. after a turbulent year of strikes in Hollywood. We all know how that went down as well. Mm -hmm. I, and I like the little jibes and the, the running joke of who was writing scripts and who was saying what was scripted. Yeah, and yeah. Do you know what it felt like with the Emmys in this sense? That they kind of got over themselves a little bit and understand yeah. fully where entertainment in Hollywood and A-list actually fits into the global scheme. And you're not the most important person in the room because you're famous, but mm. it's what you're contributing to your art. And I I love that. So quite a kind of a maturation, I think, for the Emmys now. Um, and of course, um, it's uh, not complete when you're looking at the Emmys to get into some of the outfits and celebrity couples. And we all know that every awards ceremony is nothing without the red carpet and, of course, those <laughs> guests showing up to impress. Oh, so let's take a look at the top five most voted best dressed celebrity couples who lit up the red carpet. So up first, Kourtney Kardashian and husband Travis Barker. They are obviously matching, so very cute. Mm. Uh huh. Kristen Dunst and JC Plemons, they also rock the red carpet. Nice what a classic. gorgeous couple. Beautiful classic gown she's wearing. Uh huh. Erin yeah. Dark and Daniel Radcliffe also made an appearance. Love that look on both of them. Joel Kim Brewster and John Michael Kelly also appearing on screen. Loving that look. Nice and Jazz Charton and Kieran Culkin. Okay. Also 
part of that best dressed list. I'm here for the Culkins, man. I'm here. I love the fact that Kieran is just up there with the best in the world yeah. and proving that he deserves it. Yeah. Absolutely. No, he's got amazing, the chops man. for sure. Brilliant. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, so that's what the stars have been getting up to. A great start for the year on the entertainment run from a South African perspective. Trev, you just keep knocking him down and come back to South Africa for another performance. Uh, but, of course, we've got a lot still coming on your feel-good breakfast show. Definitely. We want to make sure you look after your skin and especially protect it from the sun. Yeah, exactly. We've been telling you to wear sunscreen all morning. It's going to be a hot day, so I think it's right about now that we need to get some expert advice with regards mm -hmm. to looking after our skin. And of course, it's a brand new year. Samsung is once again doing the things. We're going to run you through some brand new innovations shortly. Summer is definitely in full swing and we welcome you back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Espresso on S3. Now we all know how great it is to have fun in the sun, but with that being said, it's also essential to choose an effective sunscreen and sunblock with high protection factors that will protect your skin from the sun's ultraviolet rays. Now here to give us his expert advice on this topic is Dr. Vili Fisser. Dr. Fasser, it's so great to have you here. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us. Thank you very much, Jim. I'm a big believer in wearing sunblock come summer, come winter. It's a habit I've had for years now. And I tell everyone, wear sunblock, wear sunblock, wear sunblock. But I wanted to know from you, what are some of those risk factors as the expert when it comes to prolonged sun exposure? Yeah, so I think what we all know is the sun makes us feel much more nicer. You know, mm. it's nice to go outside, it elevates your libido, you feel much nicer, but it comes with a lot of risks. So 
as you started in the beginning and say, if we live in a sunny country and want to enjoy the things, we need to be very responsible. Mm, we and, and the problem is there's short-term things. You're burning the sun, which is very bad, and that burning can lead to problems in the future. The other thing is, you know, you can get fever blisters from acute exposure to the sun because it actually decreases your immunity. But it's that long-term sun exposure that is the problem. And there's probably two main factors. The one is that you can get skin cancer mm. because that UV rays that penetrate into your skin, the UV a and the UVB can damage the skin cells and the DNA due to almost like oxidative type of damage. And then the other one is aging. All the signs of aging that we get from pigmentation to wrinkling to sagging is due to the sun. So photo aging is really the main concern. So we always try and push the cancer risk. But you know, when you're young, you don't think about that. No. But it's very nice to push the fact that you will get old. That's the, probably the best cosmetic tip ever is to get a good sunscreen. And something I saw in December was a photo of a truck driver that was a truck driver for 29 years of his life. And the one half of his face looked significantly more aged because that's the side the sun was hitting him. Absolutely. I have that picture on my, on my computer to show people because the only variable there was sun and not sun. Oh. Because his inherent aging is the same. Yes. Yeah. Now, can we find out, how can we protect our skin? Yeah, so I think this is a wonderful time to talk about it because it's midsummer. Today is going to hit the high temperatures. And also, we as a group of dermatologists and some leading um, um, scientists um, in December published an article in the International Journal of Dermatology that was specifically focused on what is the integrated sun protection advice for South African population. Yes. Because we have all these methods that is uniformly, mainly for Europeans, but we have this diverse population, different skin tones, and do we need to actually give the same advice for everybody? And it's not, mm. because sunscreens are expensive. Are we going to force people with very darker skin to really, you know, if they have a limited amount of resources to focus on that? So in that article, and the viewers can actually just Google integrated sun protection for South Africa, we actually classified it very well and then we stratified how you need to um, protect your skin but broadly and we're going to talk a little bit about sunscreens but the main thing is which is cheap is stay out of the Sun ah, yes. don't tan don't use artificial tanning booths you know mm -hmm. that's out for us this living summer I mean, in a summery country in a, in a, in a, in a, um, in a country with a lot of Sun and try and stay out of the Sun in the main times of the day that we know and that's probably from about 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the day, you know. I think you can walk on the promenade and see 0.7 o'clock and still get a lot of sun. You can, yeah, exactly. without getting the burn, but you still want to protect your exactly. skin. And hats, don't forget hats, broad rim hats, not a cap because it doesn't protect your ears and the back of your neck. Make sure that you wear sunglasses that protect almost like wrap around. So stay out of the sun, protective clothing, mm. like tightly woven type of clothing, especially if you're outside worker, make sure that your workers are protected. And darker colors usually protect more um, as well. So I think we must stay out of the sun and then move to the other component, which is the sunscreens. And then you need to choose the right sunscreen. High protection, as you say. And luckily in this consensus, we said 50 plus. 50 we plus. moved away from the 30s and say, use a 50. You can use lower. There's not a lot of evidence that it protects you less but, but you it, need to reapply exactly and, and the no thickness, one does that and the thickness you need to actually apply very thick for a very low SPF okay. so rather SPF 50 plus um, use a, the right amount the two finger rule you know from your palm to the tip of your finger two fingers for the face and then you can like mathematically apply to the rest of the body make sure that you apply it every day as you said you're one of the converted ones so yes. so you use it every day 365 days but for <laughs> men as well and protect your ears and your neck and then every exposed area but not for the whole body because we're not supposed to tan oh. it's the areas that you are exposed, exposed to, to the sun yeah definitely now in front of me we've got some bioderma photoderm um range mm. now how when you go to the store i often find it overwhelming because look here we've got four different products in front exactly. of us how do you choose which one suits you in that moment or your family? Absolutely, that's such a good question. And the, the big thing is we have Bioderma now here as an example. They're an example of an ex excellent sunscreen range. But we have numerous ones in South Africa. We're actually spoiled with all the international ranges that we have, local ranges that are really good. So you look for that SPF, you know, the 50 plus 50 that is plus, there. That's what you we look want. that it gives you some idea about the UVA protection. 
So you will usually see it in a little round circle there. And that PA is also for UVA protection. So remember, that's the, the, the rays that go quite deep into your skin. Okay. And they can also cause much more aging, but also skin cancer, especially for melanoma. So this one has four pluses that next to the, the PA. Top. That's okay. the top one. And then you look for maybe um, international accreditation like Kulipa, like, like Bioderma, or the international brands, maybe a cancer so range. So I think the main, main important thing is choose a reputable sunscreen brand. Yes. Then look for the SPF of 50. And I think that's the most important ones. The ingredients, you know, you need a chemical degree to know about it. Look how small it is, you know, yes. so on the back. So it's really difficult to look at. So you need to trust your brand. You can look at the ingredients. And the principle is you get physical blockers, like the zincs, you know, um, that block, and then a chemical blocker that is neutralizing this, the, the, the UV rays. So that, remember, is important to apply about a half an hour before you go into the sun. And check the expiry date. Ah, you know, good. Because that's important. If you keep it for one season, it's not going to work for the next season. About six months from your opening your product. And if it lies out in the sun, then it decreases the... It's, the it's effectivity shelf life. again, yeah. But you know what? That's why you buy the sunblock and you need to use it. Don't just save it for when you go in the sun. Dr. Vili, we can talk about this all day, every day. I love your passion. But earlier we spoke about that truck driver who had... Look at his face. 29 years of driving a specific route. You can see the aging of where the sun hits his face and how important wearing sunblock is when it comes to aging. Yeah, absolutely. That is oh. an excellent example of, of how... Photo aging yes. can make the difference. And if you ask what procedure did he do, he just the one area was protected against the sun. Physical protection because the one side of the inner side of the, um, and maybe if you then do the same and simulating that with a good sunscreen. That's, and use a sunscreen that you like the texture mm, of. Again, if, if it's in the shelf, it's not in, that's for men very important. And I think sunscreens has evolved so much and that you can find you the right the one. Stores, exactly. Ask for a sample. If you're worried about that white residue, you get tinted sunblock. So there really is something for everyone. Dr. Willi Fisser, thank you for joining us. And if you would love to go and explore all the incredible sunblocks available, you can shop these and more at Woolworths in-store online as well as on the Woolies app. Oh, so let's do a little deep dive here. Thank you so much to the doc and Zoe. Um, uh, you know, it's basic principles. But what we love about this show is we often put it to you guys to give us the real hacks. And we wanted to find out from you what that go-to skincare regime looks like. What do you find is your biggest go-to, the thing that yeah. helps you the most? So and let's also find the out. things that concern you with regard oh, to skincare. Oh, for sure. I mean, that photo really hit home for me. It was terrifying. Was um, let's see, Lavinia coming through, uh, saying uh, my biggest concern is actually acne and dark spots. I feel you, sister. Oh, I suffered yeah. from terrible acne mm. as a teenager. Salma saying, milk and turmeric, or turmeric, good for skin, drink at bedtime oh. daily. All in capitals, boom, do it. I like that. Uh, yeah. Turmeric is coming through as almost like the super ingredient. Oh, anti-inflammatory, all yeah. sorts of crazy things woven in there. Some great, great advice. I love awesome. that. Thanks, guys, for connecting with us. We're going to take a very quick break. Stick around. We still have Keenan Extian with us, who's got two more performances, and of course, that brand new single of his uh, that's going to be performing for us, myself. Mm, we are not Myself, not myself. But himself, himself is going to perform myself. I love that. Then JP Sebastian is back in the hot seat. Oh, it's getting a lot of the critics' nods. Will our critic like poor things? We'll find out after this. Moi. Say. Still the sunshine. <laughs> I get miserable when I don't see sun. Oh, I get right. that. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people. Yeah. We're, you know, in, in the UK now, December. And, you know, when...
welcome back, Expresso family, or is it welcome back to the Johannesburg studios? That is the question, because for the very first time in 2024, we are coming to you live, baby, from right here, where, yes, I still have my holiday hair, but this is the thing. Samsung did something exciting, so I had to come out of holiday, and I had to come and be here, because it is the most exciting thing since the Rugby World Cup, I'm telling you, for free. My friend, we have got our Samsung friends in the building, all in the name of how they are unveiling the new technology that is happening in the mobile world, and they are the leaders of this. We all know it here at Expresso and in South Africa. But we don't only get into that. We also get to hear about all in terms of the latest premium Galaxy S24 series. I get excited just hearing about it. And sitting with us today, we've got two gentlemen who are at the forefront of making sure that we get to know all about it indeed. I am talking about the vice president of what we like to call absolutely everything because it is the mobile experience, right? And it is Justin Hume. And then, of course, we have got Zahir Kaji, who is none other than the MX lead of product and commercial management at Samsung South Africa. Let's welcome them, everybody. Hello, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Very good in you. I'm Thanks. good, thank you. I hope you guys feel good about bringing me out of holiday. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We're also stepping out, so getting uh, You know, into it. There, yeah. I like it. And, and gentlemen, I just want to ask you, are your back sore, you know, from, from carrying the mobile industry in South oh, Africa? Yeah. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's but it's jump good, into good it. <laughs> because I know that everyone is sitting at home just wanting to know more about it. We've been hearing all about AI. And as Samsung, you guys have said that this is the direction we're going in. I mean, we heard all about it at the CES 2024, which was at the prelude of the launch of the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. And now I need to ask, because when we say AI, what do we mean exactly and why have you guys decided to go in that direction? You know, I think uh, we unpacked this week the Galaxy S24 and our response has been incredible. But you're right, what is this AI? Yeah. Firstly, the way I think about it is go back to the beginning of smartphones coming in. And really what that did is was opened uh, the world to us because of suddenly getting internet access for everybody. Yeah. And it was quite a watershed moment, right? And you could suddenly get onto your social media, your banking and the like. Mm. Now, for the first time, we are bringing true AI capabilities. It's the buzzword of 2023. It is. Everybody heard about it, but it wasn't on a mobile device. We are now bringing it to mobile yes. with Galaxy AI. So that's the catch-all phrase for um, basically on-device and cloud-based uh, AI yes. applications. And we've partnered with the likes of Google to create some incredible opportunities here. And we're going to be unpacking that a little bit further. I love that. And especially because in 2023, like you said, it was the buzzword, right? And everyone was so scared of it. They're like, AI. But you guys are making it our friend, which I really, really like. So, Speak to us about it a little bit, Zahir, in terms of what exactly you guys are doing in going in that direction. Sure. So the AI capability that's coming to the NSET really makes experiences epic. It changes the way you do things. Mm. Uh, it adds a lot of new things that you could never do before on your device. Yes. We're going to talk about a couple of features you would have been hearing about circle to search. Yes. Um, so often, every day, all of us, you've got a smartphone in your pocket, means you've got information in your pocket, means you're Googling something along the day. Yes. Something or the other. You see something, you want to know something. Sometimes you just want to validate what your friend says. The point <laughs> yes. is, but circle to search, is, is it, make, it sets a new standard in the way you search. So I, are you a sneaker yet? I, I like sneakers. And actually, okay. can I just say quickly, Zahir, just something you don't know. I'm actually the voice for your guys' advert on radio. So I had to say oh. circle to search a billion times awesome. for us to get the advert correct. Yeah, yeah. So with you now bringing up circle to search, I'm like, I'm finally going to know what it is. Yeah, yeah. So yes, I am a sneakerhead. Oh, okay. Yes. So, so if, if you saw the sneaker as an example, how yeah. would you Google it? If okay. Uh, so I, I'm not a, an advanced sneakerhead. Sure. So I'd say green Nike high top. Yes? Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm calling up uh, a Google search bar here. Yes. We're going to say green Nike sneakers. Okay. Or high tops, you said. Yes. High, high tops. Let's right, let's see what uh, Google comes up. So. So you not can, quite. You can see it's not exactly. Yes. And, and typically the journey would be you're going to scroll and you're going to go through and so forth. Yeah. We're going to demonstrate quickly circle to search. We took this picture. Uh, so Justin snapping it just as we, oh, were, yes. we were checking. Oh, yes. And look um, at that quality. Mwah. And this is how it works. So simply you just hold down your home button. Okay. Make a little circle around the sneaker. Uh-huh. Uh, and immediately we haven't left the app. <gasps> and that's it. So Magic. now you can see exactly where to buy. Uh, I've got a few options that yeah. you can post on Insta, but it's bringing up really quality and relevant information immediately. And this is the beauty of it. I haven't even left 
the camera application. So whether you're in Instagram or mm -hmm. Pinterest or even on YouTube, um, you're watching a video of some little island uh, somewhere, you see uh, people swimming in a pool, you can literally pause the video, circle on the pool, and it's going to tell you this is in Bali, this no is how way. much it costs to stay, or everything about the area in, in the same way. But the point is, it really sets a new standard. It's a real fun way mm. of discovering things around you and experiencing um, the world around you effectively in an epic way. And I thought you were going to tell me I have to like screenshots and then like go to my images and then so I can just do it on the application. Yeah, from video, from any platform essentially, you literally, so you can even scribble over it, you can highlight text, Yay. you can ask about the picture. So we could literally put the sneaker in, take a picture of the sneaker and ask uh, different options of laces. It will show this sneaker with different options of lace. There's so many different ways to experience the, the new circle. Yes, search. I love that. So that's the power of AI kicking in as we think about uh, visual search. Yes. Uh, and it goes through from there. I think the one we would also like to have a look at here is the live translation. Mm. Now, this is, again, I'm going to show it on the screen here. Okay. So we've seen our pictures there. I'm going to be utilizing our demonstration app that we have. Um, I think it just gives a bit of context to it. Yes. But really, the scenario that we have is an ability to communicate with people in different languages mm. from our own through the telephone. I can be calling somebody even on a landline or another type of mobile phone. No issue. The S24 AI does the translation for me no way. in that regard. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into Live Translate. This works straight from the in-app call uh, or the Samsung call capability. Yes. And the scenario hey, here... This is Sarah, your passenger from earlier. I think I left my wallet in your car. So Sarah was in a taxi in Spain. Yeah. Um, she's left her wallet in the car and she's called the cab driver now. Now, she's sent this through, well, she's actually talking to him, mm. and he will hear both, well, he'll hear her, her voice as well as the text that pops up. This is how it goes. Hola, soy Sara, tu pasajera de antes. Creo que dejé mi monedero en tu coche. Oh, wow. No te preocupes, déjame echarle un vistazo. No worries, let me have a look for it. I was in the back seat on the passenger side. That is incredible. Uh, it is. I mean, it's amazing. So that is a phone call that could happen live. Um, yes. And that goes through. So this live translated text place. So you don't have to be fearful of engaging when you're mm. going to foreign places. You simply select the language that you want to translate from and off you go from there. Justin, look at you guys getting me ready to go to Spain, hey? Because that was the only thing holding me back. I mean, not budget or anything. That's the only thing. It can be intimidating, right? <laughs> yes. And now we've got to solve for that. Yes. Um, and, uh, you know, thinking about where this takes us to, we, we've got the phone. We can mm. utilize AI to quickly auto-format and summarize information into uh, headings and yeah. the like. It is super easy in that regard. But here's a feature I really love. Okay. So we've taken an image. I now want to edit it a little bit. So wherever you see the uh, AI sign means mm -hmm. we can do something. We are able to quickly crop out the image, move it up. So this is great for creating like a flying no shot. Way. And you can see how Galaxy fills in the background utilizing Galaxy AI. I don't need my graphic design anymore, essentially. You don't need a graphic Thank designer you. there. Thank you. But, uh, <laughs> go for it, through from there. Now, yes. that's fantastic. And really, we haven't forgotten the basis of where Samsung has come from. Mm. Powerful cameras. We've enhanced the search capability, the camera resolution. And this was an image that was taken. And I want to just show you how good this zoom is. So we can go from the standard picture. Yes. We can go in a little bit closer, uh. even closer. And how amazing oh is that kind goodness. of shot? All from the unbelievable 200 megapixel camera that we have on the S24 Ultra. So I love this. Mm. What's fantastic about this is we've got AI working in the background. So we've got optical zooms, we've got AI real time adding in pixels for us yeah. there and just creating uh, a very rich experience for the user. I love this. So the Galaxy S24 series, essentially, it's not just a device. It doubles up as a translator, as a graphic designer, as a spyware, because you can zoom into absolutely anywhere, <laughs> into the future even. And that's just the start of it there. There yeah. is 
There's so much more capability that our brings onto this. We've got mm. chat assist, the interpreter, and the like. But um, again, I think you've got to come, you've got to experience it, yeah. you've got to check it out because we are no longer in the age of the smartphone. We are in the age of the AI smartphone. Come on, this is why I called you guys leadership. <laughs> this is why I said. But Zahir, I want you to please take us through what the offer is because that's what we're always waiting to hear. What exactly can we look for? So, of course, pre orders are effectively open already. Mm -hmm. uh, you can pre order your Galaxy S24, 24 Base, or 24 Ultra. Yes. Uh, from a pricing point of view, RRP, Base starts at 22,499, mm -hmm. the Plus at 25,499, and the Ultra at 32,499. Yes. Uh, we always have a pre-order offer. Yes, um, and this, this time I know. we've got. If you're purchasing on contract, you take out your Galaxy S24 contract and you add on a Galaxy Tab S9 FE yeah. for just 99 bucks per month. Come on, it's incredible value. You're gonna get some data with that tablet as well. Yeah, and then of course. Uh, we've had our trading program running for a while now. It's been a pretty successful one in creating real accessibility and affordability into this uh, great innovation of product that we bring to market. Yes. From a trading point of view, on contract, whether 24 or 36 month, you get the benefit of a 400 rand per month saving sure. uh, when trading in an eligible device. And if you purchase in cash as well, that's also cool. Uh, you get a 10 grand guaranteed cash back on eligible devices. This offer is only valid till 29th yeah. of Feb, so we're urging customers getting their get your hands on this amazing Galaxy S24 series. Come on, you guys are the gift that keeps on giving, and I love that we are friends with you as Expresso. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Pleasure. And you see, this is the thing, this is why we always make sure that we keep them nice and close, so you are in the No Expresso family. And do remember as well that they are all of these lovely offers on deal, as well as you just going through and heading over to any Samsung that is close to you and finding out up until the 29th of February 2024, you better get in there. You heard Zahir, you heard Justin, and we got all of the information. AI is indeed the future. And of course, my friend, it is all about the Galaxy S24 series, the latest premium one that is. For now, though, we head over back to Cape Town. Zoe, what's happening that side? Oh, thanks, Anel. It's so great to see you. And of course, it's so fantastic having you back on our screens. We are now going to continue looking at our screens because <laughs> when JP Sebastian's in the house, that means movies. Are you big ready? Screen. A big screen. Big, big screen. Uh, yes, yes. And so <laughs> Friday means new movies. And the new movie, which is the only movie out this week, maybe because no one wants to contend with it, is Poor Things. Yeah, I heard Why it's you... really doing well. I did a news story earlier on 11 nods uh, at the BAFTAs this year. Yeah, so yeah. it's obviously the darling for the Oscars as well, Probably. Mm. Uh, and that was you and who knew that. Good for you for knowing the news. <laughs> JP didn't even know that it got that much, but yeah. I can it's... also offer some information. Oh, thank you. So you're going to do the review now. Bye. No, not a chance, Bruce. Tell us. I don't know this movie. Uh, the, the director's name is hard enough. I don't know if you know Yorgos Lanthimos. Nope. Uh, right. Previously, yes, thank you. You and once again. <laughs> previously was the favorite, and that got like 10 Oscar nominations. So the, the guy's serious business. And what's cool is he does, he has really good, famous actors like Emma Stone, uh, like Nicholas Holton. And this time it's uh, Emma Stone, Willem Dafoe, and Mark Ruffalo, and he really challenges them to do weird movies. Wow. Tell you what, I'll let the people themselves speak about what Poor Things is all about, which is out today in South Africa, in time for you to catch up for when Oscar nominations start doing the rounds. Yorgos and I started talking about Poor Things in 2017. The idea of having a brain that is brand new, what would that be? Where did she come from? She's an experiment. She is progressing at an accelerated pace. I was blown away by Bella, by the character. I don't think I've ever seen or read any, anyone like that. Working with Emma, that's the reason this film for me was so exciting to make. Bella. Out! No! My character, the doctor, sees her as an experiment, which at some point reaches a crisis. I can't let you go. If you do not, Bella, she'll turn rotten with hate. I must step forth into waters. That you could have the kind of mind that isn't taught to be a certain way, I think that's very inspiring. <laughs> All of these things that women are conditioned a whole lifetime through do not apply to her. You will confine yourself to three phrases. How marvelous, delighted, and how do they make the pastry so crisp, yes? You get some very funny situation. Oh. It's an incredibly challenging part. It's probably the hardest part I've ever played. A woman plotting her course to freedom. How delightful. 
I wanted to play Bella because it felt like acceptance of what it is to be a woman, what it is to be free, what it is to be confident. It just felt like the perfect combination of all of that. Yeah, I love that's Emma Stone. it's 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 a different kind of movie. Um, Looking at what we've seen there, it's not uh, your uh, standard run of the mill kind of thing. No, no. And like she said, it was the most challenging role that she's ever done. I suppose actors oh. always say that about the next movie. <laughs> oh, this was the best director I've worked with, but probably yes, very much is. One of the first things that I suppose would be most challenging, especially maybe for female actors, um, and it really shouldn't be because, well, life on earth is stupid towards women that way, is that this is a really raunchy movie. And one of the reasons that it's raunchy is because it couldn't pull punches because it's about a character who doesn't pull punches. So it wasn't going to act prim and proper around the fact that her character, Bella Baxter, is this... So here's a description of the, the creature that she is, and they gave a bit there, is you've got a Frankenstein situation sort of here. Mm -hmm. Willem Dafoe is the mad scientist. He makes Bella Baxter, who is this blank slate type creature who just wants to experience life. So you know when you have a baby for the first time and wants to put everything in its mouth, crawl around on the carpet and like eat whatever it sees, and she's very much this kind of thing for a long time until you're watching the development of a human being. And then eventually she figures out what's between the legs and then she wants to experience that, like on everything. Oh, wow. Uh, so yeah, uh, it, <laughs> it, it is then like at one level, like uh, relatively like philosophical inquiry of like how we develop as humans mm. and then more important about how society tries to force women to develop. So as you saw there, Mark Ruffalo is like, oh, oh, yes, you have to be a tough and prim and proper and... Uh, so delightful. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> however, she won't have it and she will Quite do whatever she likes, do whatever she likes. Hidden and messages to, to life itself because if you look at kids in general and you and mm. you would know this, your kids are so free, they're so confident and then mm. they go to school and mm. the world boxes them in. Maybe, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost like crushes the spirit at some level for some people. Yeah. But so importantly, it isn't just about being a vault, like eat whatever you see type character as well, because eventually she uh, uh, has some sort of awakening to go, there must be more than just this as well, the way we all do as human beings. But uh, hey, I'm eating through my time here like a mad person too. And I've uh, got to say that what's great about this is aside from the acting, which is stellar, she's probably going to get her second Oscar for this first one for La La Land as well. Mark Ruffalo is at his best year. And shame, just by the way, he was so insecure doing this. He kept telling the director, I think you cast the wrong guy. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Such a humble actor. He's a actor. sweet dude. Yeah. And then Willem Dafoe, who is just a meanie, fakes a meeting with Oscar Isaac, the guy from Dune, etc., etc., <gasps> where he goes, I'm sorry, man, but they're firing you because you're too bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bob, they, he they, probably had serious imposter syndrome. No, for real. And, and so they purposely uh, like kept that game up with him. But they all love each other now. It was just... Uh, however, uh, the, the meat and potatoes of wife ones here, they like a number. And so Poor Things is very good, very good director, very good cast. And for that reason, aside from it also just being beautiful as a spectacle, 9 out of 10. <gasps> wow. Um, hey, I mean, the favorite is 10 out of 10, like his last movie, so this is a decline. Oh, however, wow. really, like you said, it uh, looks really interesting. Yeah. Uh, and it is very interesting. I've seen it myself. It's mad as heck and has... Uh, stretches really good actors to their limits in a very loving and, and philosophical way, but also just feels like a fairy tale. Hey, uh, whatever. All right, JP, I, I feel like I need you. to just give context to our viewers that's never seen JP's popcorn rating. <laughs> he is so stingy. For him to give a very. 9 out of 10 means it's going to be a leap year. <laughs> yeah, like. exactly. In this economy, just handing out popcorns? Uh, Thanks, yeah, JP. It Appreciate it, man. Poor Things releases today in cinemas. Yes, yeah. yes. Lovely. Thank you for Weird that. Where does that Go watch it. Nine out of ten popcorns from JP. We're going to take a very quick break. Stick around for that. Keenan Exton still in the house with two songs to go to wrap up your Friday morning.
Oh, welcome back, gang. Thank you so much for joining us for what has been the most spectacular yeah. Friday. It's, really, it's, been it's been lovely. Amazing. So why not make it even better? In fact, you could literally rewrite your stars, your destiny, by playing Powerball for the draw-dropping oh. 100 million rand guaranteed jackpot today. That's 100 million rand. Just take that on board. Undoubtedly one of the biggest jackpots I think we've seen in a while, certainly since we yeah. have been enjoying this partnership. Incredible, man. Wow. Now just imagine how your life would change if you won 100 million rand. I certainly have a couple of ideas up my sleeve. <laughs> but if you can only win if you play, so make sure you get your tickets for today's draw. And there are so many ways where you can buy them. Absolutely. You can get your tickets in store on the National Lottery.co.za website, the mobile app, cell phone banking, or simply dial star 120 star 7529 hash for USSD. Mm, and we've kept all of those details up on our social media pages. Unfortunately, we can't give you the winning numbers, um, <laughs> but you're going to have to go and do that yourself. You can start picking those lucky numbers, and then you can start thinking if you will be Mzanzi's next multi, multi, multi millionaire. 100 million guys, but you've got to ponder, push a play to find out all the best of luck. Oh, well, listen, we want to end off the day with some more music. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Keenan Ekstian in studio. Give it to me. for the performances uh, is not quite done just yet. Um, absolutely. Yeah. How smooth is this cat? No, this and the jet. Is, I, I want to I wanna light a fire, <laughs> sit and have a bry and just have his tunes play all I time. just want to buy a convertible. <laughs> <laughs> just get in the car and drive. Drive with sunset. Never stop, never, never stop. Uh, we are privileged to have Keenan Exton and the lads in studio. So it is officially a Friday, so let's get this weekend started officially right now with one last performance. Go. This one's for Carl Wasting, wherever you are.
my day, boy. Tropica, nothing smoother. Another feel good production. Thank you.